of a cliff Realize there must be more To life than this Reaching for the stars Traveling so far Like a dragonfly To scrub my head From him sin What's up, guys? It's Monday. It's episode number tw- uh, what? 23. Is it 20? Wait. 20, no. 20, is it? Well, Andy Joe was 21. Hold on. 
And then there How was did I not have one that I ready? wasn't here. You totally should have known that. And hold on a is. second. Hold on. Just hold on. It's our 100th episode. To episode number 24 today. 24. Welcome to episode number 24. It's the Big Nick Energy Show. And if we're we, live. If we had thought about we're it. We're live. If we had thought about it, yeah. we could have done the, the Keith or Sutherland thing and done a 24-hour episode for our 24th episode. Mm, that's not insane. Yeah, that would good. Been, that would have been great. I got other stuff to do. 24 <laughs> hours of Corey King. I got other Nick. stuff to do, Corey. I'm going to spend 24 hours of nonstop show. <laughs> what am I going to do for 24 hours? I don't oh, like you enough man. to Welcome. hang out with you for 24 hours. Oh, you hours. love Right. Me. We got the sh- we got the cast back. Corey and Gina are back. I, I forgot dude, what you guys look like. I've missed you guys. I forgot what you guys look I, like. I, I forgot what Eastside Gina looked like so much that I walked in today. Look at what she's I wearing. I almost complimented her. Look, look at her see-through <laughs> she shirt. She looks gorgeous. She's up here showing skin and looking all... Corey just tried to Felt. booby box me. Did she, you guys, she was, was like, motorboated when she got. She first got here. Corey, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Yeah. She told me not to say anything. Go ahead. When she, for, she first got here, she was like making the microphone motorboater. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. Are you sure that just wasn't? So she walked in. She didn't say anything, and she just put her boobs right on the mic and I said, "Do you it. like no, that?" I, you know what I did say though. I'm catfishing you. Wait, do the. Well, I don't do the camera. My boobs don't look like this. And I think that many, I think this is a common thing for middle-aged women. It's like, AI. I'm catfishing. <laughs> it's AI. I, this is a really good bra, and I like pulled my side boob into it. And Whatever I, that bra is, I'm going to buy stock in it. Actually, boy. question, where did you get that bra from? Because I just bought Gina some bras from, I believe it was Torrid. And uh, because her underwire came out of one of them, and I know she's never gonna buy one for herself, so I bought her a couple of them. And what kind of uh, Timu bras are you buying? I do. Timu, baby. I mean, when you got boobs, they come out. There's nothing Mm. you can do. Oh, like that's a common problem. Yeah, yeah, and they stab you. They like they totally betray you. Um, I I get my bras at Lane Bryant. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I wait for their BOGO sale, and I just buy a whole bunch of them. Oh, BOGO. So I'll have like you know I I probably have like 15 bras, but they're really good bras. But I'm totally catfishing. When I take, if I were to lift this bra up, I would have quadro boob. Like, oh, they what? stay. This stays up, like the because the, they're the padding stays yeah. up, and then my boobs will. Corey's fall like, out. thanks I, for the visual. They'll I, fall out the bottom and just like point, like my nipples are pointing down here. <laughs> like, listen, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a middle aged woman. Like, she I. She said with, like with a melting kids. candle, so I instantly yeah. thought She's, of the I, movie I, Beauty and the Beast. I look like a melting ice, ice cream, cream cone. Oh, right melting now. ice cream cone. Yes, I do with my different my rolls, different sizes. Corey's rolls. traumatized over there. I Gina, I, I promise you. You, the last thing I ever try to envision is anything to do with your boobs. But when you said when you lift <laughs> up oh, wrong your, button. When you, when you said you lift up your boobs, I could only imagine the amount of Doritos and Cheez Its. Hey! No, that's the thing. The Stop time. that, Corey. <laughs> so no, you can't that, say that, that to Gina. It's, a, it's our running. It's our running joke because I always drop food down there. Walking joke. It's a and walking I have, joke. It's a, it's a walking. It's a, it's a sitting joke. It's, it's, a, a, sitting me, joke. it's a meandering joke. It's a sedentary joke. Just meanders through there. Oh, what's up, um, Jeff, Faye, Renee? All listening to the show. It's Monday, episode number twenty-four, September thirtieth. Episode 24, guys. That's insane. We've only missed two Mondays, and that was Labor Day and Memorial Day. Besides that, we've been strong. Yep. 24 episodes. You've well, been I missed strong. Maybe not That's crazy. I know. Okay, I know. You know what? I feel bad. No one, no one asked you. He didn't even hear me. I about... said, you've been strong, Nick. Maybe not your other host. Yeah. Oh, no one asked you about the attendance Thanks, Kaylin. records. Okay. We do got Kaylin live in studio with us again this hey, week. Y'all. She was on episode 3, 9, 13, 12, 7, and 4. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. She's I'm the, we don't have anybody. Clearly one of our favorites. Oh, <laughs> Clearly. I love Kaylin. No, she's the one with no life, so she has nothing better to do than Corey, no, we, we soon like you. As soon as I said something to Corey, I'm like, Hey, Gina actually brought up, do we have a guest? I said, no, Corey, pick your favorite person in the world. So he's like, ah, they're busy. Let me talk to Caitlin. Uh, <laughs> that's exactly what he did. That's pretty much exactly what happened. <laughs> they then were, he tried uh, to butter me up talking about, oh, you're my favorite guest. Mm-hmm. No, I, I'm not. I did tell her that she was my favorite guest that I have invited on the show that happened to be a black female. Uh-huh. And what? I told that- him, I said, I already <laughs> said I'll be there. You don't need to try to, you know, smooth sir. Why okay, Why so. were there so many, like... Sometimes you have Corey to... qualify. To <laughs> Sometimes you have to be very specific. I just did the math. So There's only one default. person that fits right. that mm-hmm. category. And it's me. And it's you. That's actually how we do it in <laughs> our family. It's Kaylin. Got we'll, it. we'll say, like, you know, you're my favorite oldest nephew who happens to be 28. You know, yeah, you know, yeah. Like yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm still not the favorite. Yeah. <laughs> 
I still don't qualify. No. Oh, guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Big shout out to all of our sponsors. We got Danielle Alonzo's Personalized Creations, who's also going to be, where to go? Who's going to be giving away today on the show a $25 gift card oh, to her company. Danielle Alonzo's personalized creations for all your custom needs, such as you tumblers, t-shirts, handbags, and so much more, especially with the holidays right around the corner. Corey, when, what you say? when can yes. uh, the yes. volunteers of this show start yes. winning prizes? Three days Ooh. after never. Hold on. Let me let me talk to my intern. Hey, intern, uh, when can they win prizes? Uh, I'm not sure, boss. I don't think they qualify to win stuff, boss. I mean, intern, I you're, you're allowed to win know. prizes with this, too. We can... <laughs> Team up here, buddy. Big Nick doesn't even pay me, so I'm out of the running. <laughs> hey, hey, I told you let's not talk about that on there. But yeah, Danielle Alonso is going to be giving away a $25 gift card shortly on the show. All you got to do is listen and be the third part. We're going to do caller number five when I say it's time. Are these new? You got five listed? Uh, How, yes, yes. Danielle Alonso's personalized creations like made a, them. a month ago, you guys. Yeah, oh. yeah she made those yeah. for the studio. Nice. Those are pretty sweet, aren't oh, they? Oh, I hope they can see. Yeah. She made these. If you can yeah. see, can they see those? They're, They're called nice, uh, microphone yeah. flags. Yeah. I she love those. She gave those to the show. She made them for us. Also, big shout out to Toledo DJs and ToledoPicks.com, your number one stop for all your wedding DJ needs for your uh, weddings. DJs, photo booths, photography, video, and so much more. ToledoDJs.com. Also, Natalie's Love It First Bite. Home of the Big Nick Burger. Corey's mm. had Big Nick in his mouth. I've had Big Nick. On Nick's more than one occasion. <laughs> that, oh my God, the juices. Was, I've had uh, Big. Swallow. Oh, hey, hey, hey Gina. Swallow worthy. So good. Yes. But yeah, check her out on Facebook. All these people are on Facebook. Also, JW Concrete, my good buddy Justin. If you need some concrete work done, such as patios, garages, foundation, anything that has to do with concrete, hit him up on Facebook. JW Concrete, my good friend Justin. You want to give him a call? 567 239 1614. Once again, at 567 239 1614. I actually have one more thing with yeah. that concrete guy. Yeah. I found a new source for concrete. Yeah countertops oh yes countertops are the the concrete countertops are like this latest thing that are going in a lot of houses Wait, what? concrete concrete countertops really yes my brother-in-law has countertop uh concrete countertops in his house um my gina's dad has concrete concrete countertops in his house as well never heard of something uh, like that most people haven't but you've been to uh, you've been to the farm right yes i have their countertops are concrete they that actually concrete? that it looks like granite Nice. It, it, that's really? how they probably awesome put it epoxy is. over it or something like that. It looks nice. It that's looks yeah. very nice. You think about it, concrete's really easy to shape. Exactly. You know what I mean? You customize it how you want so, it. I just found out today from one of my students that you can get burns from concrete. Ew. That it's very okay. alkaline. Which is why you want a professional right. like JW Concrete to that's do right. your concrete. Yeah, yeah good friend Justin over there. We so also I'm not got... doing it myself. I'm calling mm -hmm. Justin. Yeah, for sure. For he, sure. He, sure. Even if you just have some questions, he'll be more than happy to to answer those questions for you. Also, Pandora Flooring. Pandora Flooring and Supplies. Narrow store, wide selections, uh, sexy staff. Pandora Flooring and Supplies will floor you. And, oh, wait, what? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. He just asked yes, please. <laughs> yes, he also please. forgot he was sexy. He yeah, I got part. turned on for some they reason. Our prices will that. floor you. <laughs> no one's flooring me again. Mm. <laughs> Kurt, what's your other sponsor? Uh, Burt Cat Restaurant Equipment and Supplies. Have you ever wanted to own a food truck, work in a restaurant, yeah. or just in general like cooking? Oh. Come and see the king. That's me, Corey W. King. At, pa at uh, where do I work? Burt Cat. Burt Cat. Burt Cat. <laughs> Burkett Restaurant Equipment and Supplies, located in Perrysburg, Ohio, just off of 795 on Glenwood Road. Our showroom is open to the public. We are open seven days a week. Seven days, though? Seven days a week. And most you can places also are closed on Sunday. Hey, most places, I'm sorry, we're only open five days, six days a week. Oh. You're right. So, right. <laughs> but you do know, you want to know how you can shop what seven days a week? What is happening right now? Online. Yeah. You can shop online 24-7. Oh, nice. The order comes to me. I'll call you. I'll send you a personalized, handwritten letter, no, and I will won't. be your personal account rep for all of your equipment and supply needs. So hit up Corey Direct. You don't have to go to the website. Go you to those, Corey um, Direct. knives that they use at Subway, like the super sharp little paring knives to yeah. cut the bread? The Ginzu. They, they have those at Burkett. Oh, oh yeah. those are your knives? Uh, uh, yes. Also... What? Uh, Halloween is coming up, and instead of going to Hobby Lobby I'm gonna need you or um, uh, or or Kroger or whatever, and yeah. overpaying for those Subway knives. 
come to us. They're the same exact supplies. Get them for and a less cheaper. cost mm-hmm. with us. Save money. They actually and, work. And Skip come, the middleman. Go right to Corey. Exactly. Because all they're doing is marking it up even more from yeah. our prices. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, I feel like I'm here so why not go to Corey direct? What? I feel like I'm going to hear about you on one of my crime podcasts. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Co- sure. Corey sold me this knife and he told me I could no, use it for No, 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 no. Sure. It's going to be because Gina killed me, but that's a whole other story. Oh, okay, yeah. And not with even, love. Not even hot with Gina. love. This, this Gina right here. Hey, yeah. mm-hmm. she's not a this. She's a people's. I, <laughs> yeah. I, listen, I'm going to murder him. He can call me whatever he wants. Exactly. I'm going to kill him. He can't what call you, her anything well, later. I, right. I mean, what, what do you do when someone's killing you? You don't call him, like, you mm-hmm. don't worry about pronouns at that point. Exactly. Buddy. Hi, mm-hmm. friend. Please don't yes. stab me there. They stop it. They stop it. That's Please, not how this works at all <laughs> speaking of stopping uh also speaking of not stopping my weight loss journey yeah holy jesus i, I will say yeah. i am vi- i've seen your updates just on facebook it's crazy i can't wait to hear the official latest number it's crazy i am astonished and proud of how far you've come in thank such you, a Corey. short thank time you, you are thank all you. in and in i am Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down. Sit down. I, I am sit down, Gina. I, I, I am He's sitting. not sit even down. allergic no one, no one standing. to salad. That oh, was all made man. up. He's yeah. not allergic to salad. So today marks my third week with uh, Sarah over at Renew You Med Spa over in... Uh, what happened to Danielle? Mommy. Uh, like, she's here. You, Wait, what? You, you with Sarah now, though? What? Wait, you what? Know. What are you talking No, about? Sarah's my person with the, the health with my shop. Are you trying to was your person? Yeah, stop. Jeez. So confused. Stop it. I think he's it. trying to get you stabbed. Stop it. Messing up the whole bit. Uh, Danielle, another knife. the knives are cheaper at Burkett. Stop. <laughs> stop, Gina. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll probably get two so of yeah, the price oh, of one. Sarah over at Renew You Med Spa over in Maumee. She's helped me for the last three weeks. I got a hold of her. We started talking about business. And she got me hooked up on the shot. I take a shot once a week. That's all I do. Take a shot. Like, uh, uh, like, a, like a yeah, not like a yeah, not like a drink, not, not not like what Corey does on TikTok. But mm. I take a shot once a week, and um, for the last three weeks, this is my third week. I am down twenty one pounds in three Woo! weeks. Good job, Good. thank you, thank you, thank you. Now listen, I know we talked a little bit about before the before the show on how people with weight loss surgeries, whether you're taking the shot, people kind of look down and frown upon that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Yeah, they call it easy. And it's crazy. It's, you know what? Much harder. Here's the thing that bothers me about people calling it easy. Yeah. Being a person of a bigger size, like right. you and me and everyone yeah. else in this room, yeah. it is hard. Yeah. We have tried so many times right. and failed so many times. Right. It has been a roller coaster for so many years. And finally, something comes out that can help us start that journey to get healthy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all people want to do is shit on it. Yeah. And it sucks. Every it's, time, yeah. no matter what. It's kind yeah. of I'm, like yeah. this. We have a hole to dig. And we've been trying to dig it with our hands. Yeah. And it's 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 not working. So somebody got us a shovel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now we're using the shovel. And people are like, you're taking the easy way out. No, we're taking mm-hmm. the smart way out. Exactly. That's right. what we're right. doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the shot we I take. We have a tool. Right. I take it once a week. But the shot does not put me on my Peloton bike. No. Right. The shot doesn't make me to go to Kroger and buy chicken, oatmeal, eggs, Chicken's broccoli, vegetables, all Aldi. that stuff. Exactly. <laughs> she was like, go to Aldi. <laughs> Chicken's cheaper at Aldi. You know what I mean? Mia, she just started two weeks ago. She's down 14 pounds. Nice. My daughter. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, but you have to work for it. Just, yeah. just like the yeah. shot, just like any weight loss surgery, it's not just going to happen. You have to want. Yeah. It's just a small percentage that's helping, mm-hmm. but you got to do the rest. You right. have to do the work. Yeah. And if you don't do the work, you're going to be right where you were. Yeah. Six months before you even got this shot. Yeah, so, exactly. Again, bravo. And to Thank everyone you. out Thank there so who's much. sitting here saying Thank you so much. you're taking the easy way out, shut the ever-living hell up. Because Tell him, Corey. Yeah, Tell him. He's doing his thing. He's getting where he yeah. needs to be. They're going to be and real mad when I get weight loss surgery, and I'm going to have all this extra skin, oh, and I'm going to jump shit. off the balcony like a flying squirrel. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh, wrong button. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I actually always wanted to go hand gliding. Can, like, I like grab yes. on and just like, wee. Yes, I can. Corey, no, no. Corey, I can't take much credit because yesterday I failed. Normally, I've been doing two two miles a day. Okay. It was a bad day yesterday. What'd you do? I didn't do my two miles. What'd you do? I did four. Nice. That's my dog. Did four. That's my dog. I got up first thing in the morning, got two miles in. We went to Nagoya yesterday, had a nice little lunch out. Oh, you had to work Came back. Off. Yeah, yeah. We were watching a movie together, and I'm like, you know what? 
while the movie, I got the bike out and I, and I just booked another two miles because mm-hmm. I felt like, hey, why not? Had a couple extra calories, which I was still way under what I'm supposed to be at for the day. But I'm like, let's get some more in. Yeah. Why not? How are your knees feeling? Because I know you had the cert- your knees. I, honestly, I feel nothing. Awesome. No problems. I can good. I can get on the floor a lot easier now. Do you feel like you have a lot more energy than you used to? 100%. And in the, in the best part, it I feel like I have clean energy. Okay. It's not like fake. You know, what from is, carbs like coffee and, or yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. it's like real yeah. like from, energy, yeah. from like protein energy and good I, good clean energy. I, I have I have a question. Yeah, and this is uh, this is this is this is a question I have for you oh, and, okay. and you only. Okay. So okay. why are you looking at me? If, Close if, your eyes. Actually, Close if, your eyes. If, if I can roll up the the tenant window. Oh, oh no, sure. I know oh, what he's going to ask. Thank here. you. I know All what right. he's going to ask. Earmuffs. Can 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 you see it a little bit more? Okay. Is he is he is he showing you a little bit right more? over the horizon? Yeah. Right, over, really? right over the horizon. You, 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 right over the horizon. It's so, it's so like if sun rises at like yeah. seven, yeah. you're like six fifty eight. Six fifty eight. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. It's not just right. uh, it's not just up at Danielle's phone no more. Right. You know what I'm Are you done? Yeah, right. hey, hey, that's what she it's said. It's six fifty eight a.m. It's six fifty eight in here. <laughs> I just went from six to noon. <laughs> that's Sorry about that. That's all good. That's I can't right. with y'all. But man, I feel so good. I feel great. And uh, two weeks ago, you weren't here last week, but I was at a wedding. All you can eat pizza, breadsticks, and cheese bread buffet oh, at this dude. wedding. <sighs> Smelled absolutely amazing. And you ate the shrubbery. I ate two plates of salad. No dressing. Good job. Oh, no dressing because I didn't I, want to waste my calories. So I would have went nice. with dressing, but um right. I'm but very proud of you. Thank you so yeah. much. Nice. It's it's nice. tough. I'm not gonna say this is an easy this has been easy. Yeah. Because it's been it's it's a tough ride, but you gotta you gotta be in it to win it. Nice. So as you guys might know or might yeah. not know, I, I challenged know. Nick to this weight loss journey and he is yeah. currently kicking my ass clearly but i am how you gotta get you some ozempic how dare you i am not pregnant quit oh. touching my belly i'm sorry i thought it's my baby all right that is gas not a kick <laughs> that's also his, right? that's also his junk yeah. right there <laughs> You know what? That was, I, you can't, that the camera a, can't yeah, see that, where I'm running. No, 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 no. <laughs> I sure can't. Yeah. You guys can say whatever you want. It looks like you're giving me a hand job right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Anyway. So. I can give my hand job like I'm milking a cat. <laughs> hey. Cats have teats, too. I know. That's but, why she went like this. Um, I've changed some of my eating habits up as well. Yeah. I, I ordered a salad. For lunch today, good for without you. Without dressing, yeah, and uh, without croutons, which was not on purpose. I actually ordered extra croutons, but they forgot to put them in the bag. Oh, so, so you was, wanted the croutons? Absolutely, I wanted the croutons. <laughs> so good for a, you, man. Had a dry ass salad. That At least was, you're taking them small steps, speak, and that's what it, that's what really counts. Speaking them small of things. dry, I didn't get my payment today for my Ugh. for being here. Where's my? Uh, hold on a second. Let me ask uh, production team. That's right. We don't got one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't got one. <laughs> Sorry about so that. So question, before you guys started your weight loss yeah, journey, yeah. did you do like a cleanse or anything like that? You just started. I went right to it. Well, right to hard it. in the paint is so, what they say on the streets. Uh, for me, I had COVID. And so like when I got off of COVID, I wasn't really eating to begin with. So mm-hmm. that I'm counting that as my cleanse. That kind of gave you a boost. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it was just like, all right, I can't really eat to begin with. I'm only really drinking water and yeah. clear liquids already. Yeah. There's really no reason in why I need to do this another 24 48 hours so mm-hmm. i just kind of dove right into it okay so that'll, yeah that'll be my surgery prep so the week before i get my surgery which will be sometime in december yeah um i i can only do i have to do three to four protein shakes a day and then there's like i can have as much as i want like tomato soup fat-free chicken um cream of chicken fat-free cream of mushroom but you have to strain it because you can't have any chunks no clumps mm-hmm. and then i can have all the sugar-free jello <laughs> That I want popsicles, and then, uh, popsicles, and then all the water that I can, can drink nice. during that week. So I'm like, oh, and and broth, any kind of broth. So I'm like, okay, I can do this. Like I can. Um, it's gonna be rough. I, I keep telling Dubs like every time, like it's tough. Once in a while, when it comes up, I'll just look at him and be like, "Hey, I really during this week in December, I'm gonna need you to remember how much you love me right now." <laughs> right. And when he's like, "Love you," and I'm like, "I'm gonna need you to hold that thought 
because during this week it's it might be once i'm losing my mind mm-hmm. yeah i'm either gonna it's, it's gonna go either way either i'm gonna hate him and be awful and mean and grumpy or i'm gonna cry on his shoulder every single day and like he's gonna be my my emotional support penis it's tough <laughs> your emotional it's tough penis. <laughs> well i've had some friends go through it they said that the first few days you're just you're upset because you're like i want that Chick Fil A. I want that burger. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then they, but they said Habits. like by the time after like three like days, you're number better. four. They mm-hmm. said yeah. you go through that pure evil stage. Yeah, and they're like, oh, this wasn't that bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, know, you become like be... a little nice fairy by the by the time the week. I'm over. never nice at no, all. No, no, that no, nice. No, no, no. You, you go back to your normal. So oh, okay, you're happier. Like, okay, okay, got it. You're happier. <laughs> I was like, that might be an exaggeration, mm-hmm. but yeah, I do have to remind him often that this this fasting thing might be like. um you're gonna lose it a little bit yeah Yeah. so i I, just a question if you started this the the prep diet now i'd die okay i guess that answers the question (laughs) no not really Um, if you if you started like a week now and then went back and then a week now and then went back would that like no because all that really does do is it shrinks her liver yeah that's to all to shrink your liver down so that it's easier to maneuver in there but i mean i you lose weight like i would lose weight but for me my metabol my metabolism is so bad that i would lose the weight and immediately when i go back to eating even if i ate right or whatever um for the following week i would still gain it back Okay. Like that's body why I'm hold getting on to the surgery. It. My my body is not responding anymore to dieting and exercise and, and things like that. You don't have to answer this one, but do you, which weight loss surgery are you getting? Like the one where you're going to the, get the giant head, or the one where you throw? I don't off? stop. She's no, not a bobblehead. No, no, but this is a common thing, Mr. and I'm I, it's it's honestly one of my concerns. Like when they ask you, like, are, do you have any concerns? Yeah, and I'm like, yes, I'm concerned. I'm going to have a fat head because a lot of people when they lose Too weight, late. Star, yeah. <laughs> but Star Jones, and I had a, Al Roker. But one of my but but one of my coworkers but but it doesn't but those don't make your head grow though. But one of my coworkers was like, No, actually you have a pretty small head, so it should be okay. She has a comorbidity, Corey. I have a few. I got a cousin named Comorbidity. Uh uh see. Yeah. I can't. So she said I have a small head though. Okay. Do I have a small Ugh. head? I mean, I mean, no. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it's but on a fat body, it's, so it's exactly. hard to tell. It's like, I don't, like, I don't know if you got a small head small? or just a large well, blimp well, body. Maybe, so. maybe is when you lose all that weight, your head is proportionate, and then you keep going. Then they said, okay, now her head's way bigger. And then I'll be a bobble, and then I'll be on the show like this. Like, no, you just, you just gonna be walking. <laughs> Corey, into hold her head up. <laughs> She's gonna be like <laughs> looking like a <laughs> walking around <laughs> looking like Corey. a newborn baby. Hold her head. Hold her head, Corey. The room before you do. <laughs> like, are you saying yes? <laughs> no, like Dubs is gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Put your head on my lap, girl. Put your head on my lap. Her head is gonna be like those inflatables that be uh. outside. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, big shout out to Sarah over Renew You Med Spa over in Miami. Give her a call. She's on my Facebook oh, yeah. page. Uh, if you want some more information, click on her. Tell her the show sent you, and she's gonna save you fifty bucks if you decide to go with her. Also, Jason Hall over at Danbury Realtors and the Fresh Group. If you're in the market to sell or buy a house right now, now's the time with interest rates going down. Hit up Jason Hall, good friend of the show, over at Danbury Realtors, part of the Fresh Group, 419-509-3354. Jason Hall, our realtor of the Big Nick Energy Show. Also, a big shout out to Seth. I talked to him last week. He's going to be coming on in the next couple weeks, finally. When you talked to him, yeah. did you ask him what his name was? I didn't. No, you didn't ask him. Because I didn't, I didn't uh, ask for the street cred. Mm, okay. But yeah, he's going to be on the show a couple weeks, for sure. Nice. So, guys, I know we're getting older. Speak for Speak yourself. Speak for yourself. All right. all right. I know I'm in the mid-40s. And I think you can all maybe similar, if not close to, Carry on. What are some clothing brands that you grew up on that if you were to bring those brands up now, kids would have no idea what you're talking about? Skids, Skids, Fubu. You know what? This is the first time someone brought up Skids. But I think Skids. I brought it up before and no one knew what Skid was. That's Skids with a Z. Mm -hmm. Those were like uh, pajama pants, weren't they? Yep. Yep. I had a friend. You remember those, Corey? Skids? Uh, Kenny. Kenny. Yeah. (laughs) Corey had a different type of Skids in his pants. Yeah, Skid Marks. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I had more skid marks than Door Street. <laughs> Those I, wore, guys, yeah. skid marks. I wore a lot of cross color. Oh, cross, I don't remember oh, cross. You wore cross right. colors, yeah. okay? Yeah. I did. I, I wore a lot of cross, those. cross colors. Yeah. If you guys yeah. are listening to the show, what are some clothing brands from back when you were coming up as a young lad uh, that uh, kids wouldn't know now? 
We got uh, skids. We got cross colors. Fubu. I, I want to say Levi, but Levi's still Fila. around, going strong. Yeah, yeah. Fila's still around too. You got Fubu. Fubu. Yeah, Fubu. I think Remember that's Fubu. still around too, isn't it? Or yeah. no? No. I think that's a vintage. Coogee. Yeah. Coogee. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Coogee. C O O G. Are you laughing at me, dude? Coogee. Coogee's a real dude. thing. Oh, it's Coogee. Coogee been around for a long time. <laughs> no, not Coogee. Coogee coming back. Coogee. Her had Coogee since '93. Coogee C- left around the 2000, but Coogee is back in, in full force now. C- not Coogee. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Oh, Coogee. Coogee oh, oh, sweater. Oh, Coogee. Oh, ain't that that really cute little long no. dog that looked like a biscuit? They're, they're actually quite ugly. <laughs> That'd be a corgi. Looking like a biscuit. No. What? <laughs> The coo, the coo, the coo, 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 you know, Goodwill used to go up Those to carps and there was a whole. Okay, don't you dare talk about carps. Dude, don't you dare <laughs> talk about carps, all right? See, carps. This is, there's a Carp, store. There was okay. a store called Carps. carps with a K. K-A-R-P-S. And they used, they used to sell these, these, we'll call them gold chains. Yeah. Uh, technically speaking, I'm, they got, they was green after you put them on. Right. Because uh. uh, I had these rashes. That I thought I had like eczema for the longest time. <laughs> it was from the, it was from this, the oh, clothing. You no, know, from these chains that I kept buying oh. for a dollar ninety nine. Uh, <laughs> these chains. The carbs I also had those. like like oh. racks of clothes, so it was like, oh, you need a Sunday outfit for Easter. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Boom. Oh, here you, you go. You, you mm-hmm. get like you, that's where you get all your silk shirts from and oh, your yeah. dress pants and your dresses. Uh, so it's like the rainbow I, now. I had yeah. yeah. Ooh, I had a collection yeah of black Bart Simpson. T shirts. Yes. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So black. Like uh, he Bart, was black. Bart Simpson yes. was black. Oh, yes. Bart nice. Simpson was black, and he just had sayings that black Bart Simpson would say That's instead cool. of white. Bart what Bart are some sayings cool. black Bart Simpson would uh, say? Uh, say? I'm not really sure I can say on the show. <laughs> 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 My, um. Hmm. No, just don't, don't uh, yeah, even no, try. No. Someone said Jordash. I don't think that our... Jordash. Oh, I remember. Jordash. Jordash. Guess is still a thing, isn't yeah. it? Guess. Used jeans. Y'all remember used jeans? Oh, yeah, yes. used. Oh, all um, my, all my jeans were used. Yeah. Yeah. Well, from my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin Danny. Was it, was it Janko? Danny was Those a girl. Those big old skater jeans? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, JNK. Yeah, Janko. Those are huge. Janko, Janko, like the, Janko the, jeans. The, uh, the, Those are back. The skaters of ICP days. Yeah. Are they the ones with all the chains and like buckles? And the really wide legs. Like super wide legs. Yeah, you need glow sticks to go with those. <laughs> Bell bottoms. Yeah, that's the same. Those are back. I mean, I know what they I, are, but I, I don't remember like that. Period. I literally have a pair of bell bottoms on right now. What's sad is I can't even <laughs> tell if they bell bottoms are tight. <laughs> Like, it is. That is. They're tight at the top they and look bell like out at the bottom. Right now. Stupid. I thought Gina was wearing ankles. skinny jeans. This is First of all, <laughs> if I'm wearing them, there's nothing skinny about yeah. them. <laughs> I don't know why you would even get it right. Lisa what? said, uh, Lisa in the group said, my mom used to make our clothes. We were kind of poor and only got store-bought clothes for Easter or other special I occasions. totally wish that I had that skill. My grandma made me clothes, like my play clothes. I loved them because really? they're just all soft cotton, elastic bands. Oh. I dated a, a girl in high school for like a week, and I realized that she was poor when she showed up to school in some smiley faced overalls that her oh, mama had made her. Oh, Corey. And, and like everyone had like laughed at her and like I didn't dump her that day, but like because like, of a, it. A couple days later, like right You're before a jerk. Because of it. I was not a good boyfriend to anybody I dated in high school. Ever. First off, Corey. Oh. But like a couple days before like homecoming, I broke up with her. Corey. And she was like, Is it because of the overalls? And I was just like no, but they didn't help. Mm. But so that played yeah. a role. Yeah. So she bad. Just, What's wrong with that? Is mean. If, yeah, hey. What's her name? So we can there, apologize. Right. To her. I want uh, her to call on the show. <laughs> right. Because so she knows who she is. She right. does know who she is. But here's the thing. Like I could say her name, Stacy. If you're mm. listening, uh, here's the problem. Yeah. Uh, she's actually hearing impaired, so she's not gonna hear. <sighs> the, Hold on a minute. Um, just. <laughs> so you know I, I know I sign used, language. So. I used, <laughs> oh, do it to her, the camera. Her name, her name was Kristen, and I used to call her my little soundbite, oh. and she used to call me Corey. <laughs> uh, so that was you are going to hell twice. <laughs> You gonna but go, anyway, they gonna send you back. Kristen, and then yes, I apologize. Who invited for this guy up with you what right she, before what homecoming? What did she call you? <laughs> That's how she used to say it. <laughs> When she wasn't wearing overalls, she dressed like a lesbian, but that's just because she was deaf. That, that's just a uniform. Oh, that was your girlfriend, yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said, Corey, you're a bully. In the I, I, was, I, wasn't, aware. I wasn't a good person. 
I'm ashamed right now. I, I'm ashamed right. of you. You know what? It is what it is. We so weren't raised funny. like that, just so you know. We weren't. I was a little skinny clearly, white girl. Clearly, you're the good person. <laughs> oh, really? No. Oh, yeah? Really? I I can tell you stories. She's I just my can't new favorite. Think of any right now. Right. right. There you so go. Think of any. funny. Look, I can embarrass myself in, in the clothing journey. So when I was growing up, yeah. I had a pair of jeans. Yeah. And they had a K on the back. Mm. And I thought it stood for my name. It stood for Kmart. Oh, I love Kmart. <laughs> My mom was like, I did too. I wore Champion back in the day. I don't even care. Dude, Champion, Champion used to, is still here. I don't understand how Champion went from being this little poor people brand yeah. that like you used to get laughed out of everywhere with yeah. to being like the go-to brand that kids are like begging their parents to buy them yeah. now. Same and thing then they're with like, New we Balance. can't afford it. Same thing I, with New Balance. Yeah. New Balance was one where people were like, oh, was I'm poor not people no stuff, New Balance. Right? Yeah. And now New Balance is, oh, you got the new New Balance? Mm. Yeah. Shoot, I shopped at Kmart. Uh, what was the other one? Hills, Hills? Value Hills. City. Hills. Hills. Yep. Um, what was the Woolworths? Oh, I love yep. Woolworths. Woolworths. Anybody we'll remember go uh, Lane's Grocery Store? Oh, yeah. What? I love Lane's. Who was like, that no, I'm sorry, Lane. What is it? No, it was like Lane's. There was Lane's. Lane's. There was it also was like a pharmacy. The farm. It was like, yep. The I farm. remember the was, farm. That was the spot. Lane, Lane's was kind of like a, um, kind of like a, the farm, kind of like Rite okay. Aid type thing. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. So uh, the farm about, left. Yeah. Sorry, Court. So uh, farm left and then Walgreens and then Rite Aid took over, kind of. Yeah. Like well, Rite Aid gone farm. now. Yeah, Rite Aid gone, gone. What were you going to say, Corey? I'm sorry. I was just going to say, speaking about Kmart, yeah. uh, specifically this is to my sister because mm-hmm. I bring this up to, uh, to, to, uh, to Hot Gina and she laughs at me. Yeah. Do you recall? Nope. Kmart sandwiches? Yes. Yes. They were really good. They were delicious. Do you remember Grilled cheese and fries? Uh, I'm not talking about the deli sandwiches. The subs. I never had deli. They were like cold 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 cut sandwiches. No, when we would go on trips, our dad would stop at Kmart and buy a whole Mm -hmm. sleeve of these Kmart sandwiches. Was it like a Subway? Uh, Kind kind of. of, Or already made? No, think, like three, three, like the subs Walmart. in the deli, like so, the, so, how they have the subs. Yeah, so like yes, kind of like Subway. I don't remember Kmart having like a deli. I remember them yeah. having a little restaurant. Yeah, but they, about had, in there. they, they had deli subs. In oh, okay, there. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. they make these in front of you, and yeah. then they put them in a bag. But like they put like five or six of them in a bag, and then just yeah, twist like them like up. a loaf oh. of bread bag. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you think of it, kind of like um. Kind of like the Arby's roast beef sandwich, only oh, instead of roast so beef, it's actually deli meat with lettuce so and cheese. stuff like that. Yeah, and, and you could, and they would wrap them in um, saran wrap, and you could buy them off the the, the little. So you just take them to go, and you're mm-hmm. good to go. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, that was that was we okay. were not stopping at McDonald's. We but it was like McDonald's. Money. It was like real saran wrap though. Like you had to like turn it over and like pull it apart. Oh and, yeah. Mm. yeah, you know what I'm saying. It was like, an art form to oh, yeah. just take yeah. it apart. But we'd like travel to Florida, and my dad had this thing where he didn't want to stop. Stop. Yeah. Like it wasn't like oh no, we just did that. Yeah. It was like we're not stopping ago. at a hotel. It was I'm going to overfill my gas tank and mm-hmm. we are going to make record time pee now. There was no stopping. We're not, we're not no, stopping what, yeah. what he would on the way from here to Florida. Oh, is yeah. it, when I stop for gas, that is your time to go to the bathroom, get you something to eat and stretch. If you are not in this car, you got six by minutes. the time I'm done pumping gas, mm-hmm. you will be left here. We will leave you. And our cousin got left. Oh yeah, because he was not in the car. No, Oops. he wanted to play arcade games, and he thought my daddy was playing. Mm-hmm. And, so and Kim he learned don't that play day. Like that. I want to tell you this story because it's really, it's. I mean, this is one of the weirdest compliments I think that I've ever heard anybody. Hi, give. Ash. We were on our way. Is that my cousin Ashley? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, um, might be. We um, were on our way to, we went to Florida. We did the same thing. We got subs, we got the cooler and everything was in the, and we got a big old van and like took off. Cause that's when I had um, the foster boys with me. So the whole family went down there. So we got this 15 passenger van and we're rolled out. We rolled out. So we get down to Florida. We just went over the line. Um, where's uh, Florida state in Florida? Uh, the, the city where we, um, so when we, when um, we got off the boat, what? What, Port Canaveral? No, it's no. not. It's Miami? not. Gainesville? Yeah, Gainesville. Yeah. It's a, I think it's Gainesville. Oh okay. So um, we get down there and we have to stop and we don't know where we're at, where we are. So stopping is scary anyway, but it's like four o'clock in the morning. So we stop and we clearly should not have picked, because if you don't know where uh, Gainesville is, it's actually quite dangerous. It's not a great place to go. It's not a nice place to so stop. We, we get off. We go to the 7-Eleven. We, are, all of us unload and go to the bathroom. The bathrooms are disgusting. So everybody's coming out like, oh no, gross. And there was a gas shortage at the time. So there wasn't even any gas there. So we were just like, okay, let's just go. So this guy like comes out behind my stepdaughter 
who was, um, I think she was like 20. And he's like, goes up to dubs. And I'm like, okay, we're going to get robbed. Like this guy was, I, <laughs> we're so going to die. I'm making plans. I'm like, well, I can't even roll out because we still got people in the, ba- the gas station. So like, I'm like, I can't leave these people behind. And I'm like trying to make all these plans. He comes up, he's like, hey, hey, hey. And he says, can I get her number about Kayla? Now this man is older. Like Mm-mm. he's like our age. And Dubs is like, that's my daughter. And he's like, oh, sorry, bro, but you got really good genes. And it was the weirdest. Uh, that's awkward. Most uncomfortable. That's awkward. And Dubs and I just looked at each other. We're like, what? Did that's you say awkward. thank you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we just stared. Like, did that just happen? And as soon as the other two came out of the the gas station, we're like, get in the car. We got to go. Like, mm. And he came up and he had the, the beer in the bag. And, like, oh, of course. Paper was, bag. Yeah. It yeah. was like, um, we, so uh, in we were and then we find out later somebody's like oh yeah you definitely shouldn't have stopped there when we got to where we were going like why would you stop there at least he was courteous enough to go to the father first like well, that doesn't happen true. in today's that's day true. and age can i have her hand you know like think about <laughs> if, a, if a gentleman yeah. went up but he didn't ask know that hand. that was her her dad he i think i don't know if he thought we were like transporting like if we were trafficking, <laughs> yeah, maybe. like we got a we got a bunch of young people. I mean, in it kind of looks like us. it now that you talk. I mean, you yeah, you're yeah, in a van. You, you said you had yeah, a, a bunch van. of kids. I'm literally the only van. white person. Wait, was the van was was the van white? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, for yeah. sure you were yeah, trafficking. Hundred yeah, percent you're, you're trafficking. trafficking. You're you're lucky you didn't get pulled over by uh, the police. That, right. That is. Uh, you're lucky you didn't get searched. <laughs> right. Possibly. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But anyway, I just thought that was the weirdest compliment. So I will say that our dad. Did not I'm mean, when when we say he did not want to stop. Yeah, nah. he didn't want to stop. There's no like, stopping. We had a motorhome, and mm-hmm. and even in his van, he put a toilet. Oh yeah, are you serious? Yeah. By, by toilet, he built a wooden box yeah. and put a toilet seat on top of yeah. it. Mm-hmm. That was the toilet. Okay. That was what he still could go in the car. And, yeah. And, okay. And, no, no. In in the motorhome or in the van, he had like a conversion van. He he had the back where it laid out into a bed because we ain't getting a hotel. Mm-hmm. And oh, then, damn. Uh, yeah, and then there was also he put a sink. Yeah, in there. Yeah, with. So you're life. legit not stopping. No, no, no. When he we was, say we're not stopping, we meant he not. Stopping. He would say things like, "Okay, uh, we're leaving now. We will be mm-hmm. home at one thirty-three a.m. Yes. Damn. And at one thirty-three a.m., we would be pulling into the driveway. He knew too every a single time. Yes, I, I the, remember that time when I said, "That's crazy, See, Daddy. It's one thirty-three. Yep. Yeah, like it, it, just every pulling single, in every single time. That's crazy. Like, yeah. Our dad was like a human was GPS human system, and I, that was I, before I any like computers. Anything. Yeah, he had like, to like time it out, read the maps. Yeah. He, he was swear, the triptychs. Swear to God, oh for sure. When uh, uh, Caitlin has this friend that lived in uh, Charlotte at the okay. time, mm-hmm. and I was going down to pick her up and bring her back up here to to mommy, and I just said, "Yeah, I'm going down there to to pick up Shannon," and he said, "Oh yeah, well, what, what's the address?" And I just told him the address mm-hmm. and he said oh Beatty's ford that's uh that's gonna be exit whatever he, he knew said, the miles and he, he said exit. when you get off you're gonna pass a kfc mm-hmm. and then you're gonna pass two stoplights <laughs> yes. and it'll be on your right they knew he they knew, knew that landmarks. just from the address no no he had never been to her house yeah at I, dan is like i'll even do that's you crazy. one better i yeah. was do- i was going to an event in akron and this is before GPS and stuff like that. Yeah. Like I had the flip cell phone. Ooh, okay, mm-hmm. you can't so do like, nothing on that. I called and I'm like, Daddy, we I don't know where we at. We we trying to get. He said, What address are you going to? And I told him. He said, What mile marker are you at? And I was like, Forty seven. Oh, Oh, forty seven. Okay, so two exits up. You're gonna get off at such and such. That's gonna be exit such and such. There's gonna be a Taco Bell over here, and there's gonna be a BP gas station over there. Turn right, and about a quarter mile on the way, you're gonna turn left, and then you're gonna you're gonna be there. And what? Like, yeah. And, and I'm telling you by the he, mile marker. Yeah. He knew exactly mile yeah, marker, exactly. marker landmarks, what? everything. And you, I'm talking. This was a no street light road that I was on. Yeah. He. Like, uh, so when he like right before he had died yeah. his last like hurrah he was trying to visit every county in ohio's uh courthouse yeah and he wanted to take a picture in front of every county in ohio's courthouse with his motorcycle okay because he, tra- fun. he traveled a lot he put about a hundred thousand miles on his car every single year mm-hmm. Jesus. Um, yeah yeah and he just drove everywhere he Jesus. just liked to drive that's a lot of miles oh absolutely mm-hmm. but and and that's kind of how like i am now that's I, how we are I, yeah we can I, drive forever i i put about Eighty thousand on my car a year. Um, Corey, that's a lot of miles. I'm aware. I'm very aware. I put twelve last year. (laughs) 
out of my truck. I like try to not miles. ever yeah. leave my house, and yeah. I don't go anywhere that's more than like 12 minutes from well, my door. Right? I live an hour plus away from where I, I work, and plus I also do stand-up, and it's not like you can do stand-up in Pandora a whole lot. So you got to travel for work, and that's what I do. And plus my kids live in Wasian, and I'm down there, so... Every single day, I'm driving at least Jesus. 70 minutes. 70. I just want to point Jesus. out that I asked wow. Nick for my water payment like an hour ago, and he's sitting on two waters. Right. Wow. He sure is. He's drinking his I'm water. I'm over here. Thank my my lips are We're all parched. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm so is thirsty. I cut, this is why I show up. <laughs> Sorry, Gina. <laughs> I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> on, right. on giving away water? Someone said, uh, who's your guest? That's Kaylin. That's uh, Corey's uh, Biological twin. Biological sister. Twin. Hey. Or twins. Yeah. There was there, there were triplets, but that's Corey ate the one. other one in the womb. How like, how how accurate? That's why. Guys, check this out. I didn't realize. I'm thinking about something the other day. Just random stuff. Okay. Hot dog buns in the package. Okay. Why you, do they come just, in eight? So they're all ten? stuck together, right? The first four, like, so you get an eight pack. There's four up top, four on the bottom, mm-hmm. and they're you know side by side, all stuck together. How do they get the? How do they open them? You ever like? It goes through like a forklift. It's like. Like through the so they through poke it. them through the yeah, front. They poke them through. How do they open what? The like, they're, saying, like there's cuts in them, but they're pull, stuck when together, you pull like them baked apart, together. They're already they're already cut. So he's asking like yeah, how they're already they cut, but they're apart. also attached. That's what I'm saying. Because oh, I just told you how it's like they took the knife through the middle, like. Yeah, but well, it doesn't go all the way through. It, it, I know it's like a that's fork, what she's it's saying. Like it's a like a forklift. forklift. So but, like shoves, not, but it's not really cut still, though. Shoves like three knives in there to split it. And then when you pull it apart, it's already split because it shoved the knife. Wait, how do you know that? I, that was just a logical guess. Oh, so you don't so even you know don't that's really true. Know. Look that up, Gene. I'm going to yeah. go to the Look Google. Look that up. I'm trying to figure out how hot dog buns, a pack of eight, they're all stuck together like they were baked together, but they have cuts in them. I really think they just want you to buy 40 of them. You know what I'm saying? Like that blew yeah, my mind. That blew my mind the other number. day. Because you you get hot dogs in a pack of ten and hot dog buns come in a pack of eight. Why is that? Make it make Look sense. that up too, Gina. You know we need facts. Because I want you to buy forty of them. I love using hot dog buns for reasons other than hot dogs. Like right. what, Corey? What why else did you? Why would you buzz me? I didn't, I didn't I, I, do I that. I used Gina to have Donovan that. make a sandwich with a freaking hot dog yeah, bun. He Gina did that. He thought it was a hoagie. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We're having subs tonight, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I would, I would legit take. He, and you, you know, what he, he's like, listening. He probably mad now, but I'll take like the <laughs> meatballs. Put meatballs on a hot dog hey. bun. He thought he had a meatball. Look at mine, brought a subway. Uh, <laughs> he's like, you might want a Philly steak and cheese. <laughs> 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 Until he sees a real Subway sandwich. Like, what is this, Ma? Oh, oh no. He he got a real Subway sandwich. That's so funny. Like a lobster roll. Like, yeah. I love, like, like I'll do like a, a lobster roll yeah. on a hot dog bun. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I went to Maine, and that's how they have they serve their, their lobster rolls on hot dog buns. That's weird. And I saw it, and I was just like, that's cheating, but it's also really ingenious. Genius. So you can have you know, two yeah. lobster rolls per pack of hot dogs. Mm-hmm. Gina's looking up real quick. How? I mean, this, they're all saying the same thing. They're just they're knives shoved in there. I'm trying to figure out how hot dog buns are oiled. cut. But when you Shit. pull them out of the package, they're ready, like baked together. I think them little elves that make them. They they little probably, fingers. Yeah, they just the like, finger in the breads. <laughs> I really think Corey, do they have like Corey, super sharp Corey, and long Corey. I really think you gotta put it in. I really think that when, that when it slices and the bread is warm. That that lets it go through, but then as it cools down, oh, it starts to mean. fuse back together a little bit. Mean. I see what you're saying, but you know how hard it is to cut warm bread. That's what I'm saying. It'll smash. That's why Subway doesn't give have you, you the warm bread. Have you seen those machines? Yeah, I, have I sell yeah, those. You machines. sell them, Corey. That, that it's really hard to cut warm bread. That's why Subway does not allow you to have the warm bread. This is some Illuminati secret stuff because it was switched to like I'm saying. hamburger buns in the middle. <laughs> I'm saying it blew my mind. Of the video, like how are they cut already? We need to change sub. But I'm pretty sure that that's that's what right. There's gonna be a knock on the door. I know. It's the All FBI. Right. Diddy's gonna show up with some baby oil. Just oh, like you gotta change topic. Stop it. Thousand. It's too. It's too soon. Bottles. It is not too soon. Too soon. It is not. I too have soon. yet to finish a bottle of baby oil. What did he Ever. do with the thousand? Dang, I, you girl. know what? I guarantee you ain't you. doing it right. <laughs> 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 Uh, I yeah, y'all bought three for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little slippery. Uh, I, <laughs> if she bought three, I think you're doing it wrong. Right. Um, Ooh, wait, she uh, never used it on me. Or she used it. <laughs> I will say, not one person better leave his house ashy. That's for sure. Ooh, uh, very true. Uh, very, very true. I slipped out of my seat when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> 
guys, real quick, if you're if you're if you haven't watched the Beetlejuice movie, the new one, turn your however you're listening, turn it off for about five minutes because we're going to talk about that. Oh, I haven't seen. So I'm gonna give you a chance. Go. Well, you're kind of stuck with it. I- I've never seen the original. So I went so, and seen the new one. I've seen I, I also the saw the new one. I went and seen the new one. So I was so excited ever since the preview started coming out. Yeah. When they started announcing <laughs> it was being taped and it's going to be coming out, I was so excited. I loved Beetlejuice number one. Went to the theater a few weeks back, scene number two. I have never been so disappointed in a movie. I don't know in my life. Really? Yeah, it's not great. And Gina's shaking her head. Yeah, you what? I I just Gina, what I, was that? I, it was to me. My like my oldest daughter said it gives parody vibes. Like they made a somebody made a parody of the first movie. Yeah. It's so and like it, it's really weird. And I think if you don't watch it I, until you watch it, you won't understand. But it's like it was there something wrong with Michael Keaton's voice like he couldn't talk or something because he was well, like the whole movie was just so it was stupid. so bad his lines were so few um the storyline had so many holes in it um I do understand why the dad wasn't in there do you know right why? right yeah because of the, right. the, the, the accusation accusation yeah. so he couldn't be in it so I do understand that, but I mean, even so, they could have done a little bit. Better. You said it perfect. It was almost like a comedy parody of yeah, it, and it, it was, was not bad. good. Yeah. So I don't need to see it. Got it. I mean, no. you, I you, you can't mm. just don't go in it with a very whatever your expectations are. Lower it to the floor. If you're feeling no bad about yourself, watch it because it might make you feel better about yourself. <laughs> Is it that bad? It it's was horrible. Bad. I do it's that with not... strip clubs. Oh gosh! See like when I go to like a really, really stop, horrible Corey. strip club and it just makes me feel better. Like when they're killing roaches on the stage, stop. that just makes me feel so much. Anyway. That's why you go to the peppermint hip hop. Uh, he's like going. He ba- goes there. That's why and you watch go to the peppermint. Them. They're not hip-hop. clog dancing. They're, they're <laughs> right. killing roaches. <laughs> yeah. they're like oh my god, it's clog dancing strippers. This is amazing. Going back to Beetlejuice though, like the Michael Keaton, he wasn't even really in the first movie that long. Yeah, it was like, it was like seven minutes or something like, of that. Like, mm-hmm. like less than thirteen. Yeah. So. But he it's he did this weird thing where like I'm telling you gotta watch it to understand what I'm saying. Like it's like he would you would be waiting for him to do his line, but he didn't do it right away. So he'd be yeah. like just doing this weird do you do you remember in Men in Black where the guy's wearing the Edgar suit? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where yeah. he kills the guy and then he yeah. wears his skin. Yeah. That it, he kind of reminds me of reminded me of that. I'm like, is there something weird going on here? Like what is happening with him? It was his whole character was really weird. And it was almost like there was three different stories at one time. So you're trying to follow one, but then another one would come in and yeah. it was just I almost left. And the kids, a, like I I wanted to leave. What a waste for Jenna Ortega because she's amazing yeah. and it was yeah. such a wasted role. Um, and you saw that storyline, you could see that coming a mile away. Yeah. I'm like, how does nobody else catch on to this? So, and then the wife, his ex wife storyline, which is stupid. Like, I. Yeah, she, she, but she and she and Lydia didn't get along. And then all of a sudden they're like BFFs. Yeah. And um, I don't know. The whole stupid. thing it was is stupid. Really so stupid. if, if you want to go watch Beatles, oh my, Juice, saying we're not going to the new movie. My, my favorite part was when the airplane like entered the bar and it was just like, why is there an airplane in here? No. Okay. All right. No. All right. All right. All right. We're Moving talking Matt, to our listeners, that. not about, not to you. So, All right, turn me. your radios back on. They, We're done talking about this how stupid not, Beetlejuice movie. It's not how, how this works know. at all. Yeah, I would. Oh, yeah, just, we're not on the radio. We just don't. lost all of our <laughs> listeners when you told them to change the channel. <laughs> right. <laughs> all three are back now. Uh, hey. Right now, we're giving away a $25 gift certificate to Danielle Alonzo's personalized relation or relationships, personalized <laughs> creations. Uh, you guys got to put your phones down. Why? Put your phones down, Gina. Kaylin, phone down. My phone is on the table. 419-280-2514. Corey, I'm just put your hands on top just, of the table. Now. I'm, but I'm, I'm ple- Now. I'm pleasuring now. myself. <laughs> you leave me alone. <laughs> 419-280-2514. Caller number five, you're going to win a $25 gift certificate to Danny Alonzo's personalized creation. But you just said there's only three people listening. Yeah, so yeah. two so, of them got to call in twice. Everybody take a turn. <laughs> two, two, two people have to call in twice. Oh, I got to make sure to turn our phone on. I wonder if oh it's on. What if we got minutes? I don't know if yeah. we paid the minutes with our sponsors oh last month. Goodness. Our 419 280 2514. Caller number five. You're going to win a $25 gift card. And with the holidays right around the corner, she's got so much to offer. She's making tumblers, t shirts, backpacks. Oh, backpack, so, backpack. Even if you have an idea, 
and she doesn't have it on her her page, she can definitely create something for you. She's Ooh. awesome. So call number five four one nine two eight zero two five one four. I'm gonna put it in the Ashley. If you're group. listening, call in because I want this gift card. It's twenty five dollars, and you can use it for whatever you want. Yes, I should say Donovan. You can call in too. Right. I want this gift card. Who's it gonna be? She yeah. made me Hope an amazing shirt that I have to Has wear. Has the phone rang yet? Not yet. You'll hear it. I got it hooked up. Uh. Caller number five. Caller number five. Well, there's a there's a delay, so they're not they're probably just hearing it right now. So. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, caller number uh, one. Uh, uh, is this the Big Dick Energy Show? It is. Uh, 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 am I a winner? Am I? Am I? Uh, oh, am I the fifth caller? Oh, we got a call. <clears throat> Big Nick Energy Show. Guess what? What? Uh, nothing. You didn't win. We're caller number one. Call back. Call back. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Caller number one. Just you did not back. win. Back Try to call back. 419-280-2514. Caller number five. You're going to win a $25 gift certificate to Danielle Alonzo's personalized creation. The same, same guy. Just the Big Nick look. Energy Show. Who's this? Laura. Laura, Ooh. guess what? I didn't win. You did not win. <laughs> <laughs> Your caller number she two tried often. calling back. <laughs> Clearly, she's a regular listener. She just <laughs> called to be let down. She already knew she's being. Le- it's she almost is. like we're dating. <laughs> just, Stop just, touching the pole like would that. You quit? Uh, right? <laughs> no. I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. The Big Nick Stop. Energy Show. Your caller number three. Try calling Laura, back. I got some competition. Call number three. Oh, oh. He's a little competition. Corey, if you don't stop molesting the yeah. equipment. Right. I paid a lot of money for that off of Timu. Respect the Timu. It's, it's called really? Temu, actually. It's actually, Timu. it is. It's Temu. Uh, no, I think it's too late for them to rebrand. Too bad. I know. They Just changed like, did it you during know, the Super Bowl. That was did yeah. you know that Sheen is Shine? Yeah, I did I was know like, that. no, thank you. It's <laughs> Timu and Sheen. Right. I don't care what you say. Right. Four one nine two eight zero two five one four. Temu. Speaking about shinies, I need to buy something off of that site, and I might need your help. By the way, it's what called Shane. 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 I need to buy. I need to buy a Halloween costume. What do you uh, need? We have to read the reviews and make sure they're big enough. Yeah. Four one nine two eight zero two five one four. We're waiting for caller number four oh. and five because caller number five wins the twenty five dollar gift certificate. Donovan, go ahead and call. Danielle Alonzo's personalized crease. Ashley, go ahead and call in. Right. Come on, a- Ashley's mm-hmm. Wait, Ashley's smart. She's waiting for the next. But Ashley, there's a delay. What would you buy if you guys got that? What would you buy? Oh, Ooh. she's got so much Something stuff. Custom. I think I'd buy a tumbler though, like uh, yeah. a, a picture. Those tumbler. are so hot. One of the with a picture on it, yeah, like one of like my kids or something. Like no. a family one. No, forget them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I probably have her fill a t-shirt order that I don't want to do myself. Ooh. Probably an Ohio <laughs> State tumbler. Nice. Yeah. No, that's what I do. Oh, uh, I O. Four one nine two eight zero two five one four. Everybody just gives up. Everybody just give up. I would. Uh, no, they're waiting it out because yeah. they don't. They want to look. Just oh, call, they're waiting. Call and be four, the and then hurry up and call next caller. Right next caller in. Next caller win. Next caller in. Four one nine two eight zero two five one four. Next caller. We're not doing caller number five. We're doing the next caller that gets through. You're a winner. Is it Laura? You're gonna win. Is it? <laughs> Repeat the number. Oh, oh man. here it is. Here we go. Big Nick Energy Show. Who's this? This is Laura. Laura, you hey, did Laura. win. You did it. Good job. So, Laura, were you waiting for number four to come through before you called back? Yeah, were you listening, waiting yes. for the next? Well, were you? I kept telling Dustin, I was like, I got to call again because the number five's not going to call. Or That's so <laughs> funny. No wonder they weren't calling. They were waiting. They don't want to be caller number one. It's like playing right? Connect Four, and you got to wait for them to. Nobody's putting it in the one row till the. You, that's exactly what it is. Say hi, Nick. You just taught me how to beat Girl Connect Four. I didn't. Hi guys, that. how long you been? How, how long you guys been listening to the show? We're on episode number twenty-four today. How long you guys been listening? 24 episodes. You've listened Thank to you. every single episode? That is every single week. Oh, we that's you, great. Thank that's you. great. Thank you, you so much. The gift card. Yeah. That is- All right, Laura, do me a favor. Send uh, Danielle a message that you won, and she'll make sure to get you that gift certificate. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Two that is two full time. days of her life dedicated to just listening to us. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. That's that great. 24 so episodes? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Wow. That's awesome. She That's a champ. Is. Corey, what would you bring with you today? <clears throat> I brought my sister with me today. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's right there. Hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How'd you bring her if she was here before you? Oh, good mm-hmm. point. Then there's that. <laughs> <laughs> there's that. Uh, well, first off and foremost, yeah. uh, this weekend, oh. 
I was home alone all by myself, Ugh. which does not That's why I can't happen. stop touching things, Nick. <clears throat> That's probably right. it. You had a whole weekend. Uh, yeah. You're still not it's on a, your system? No, no, not at all. Okay. Not at all. In fact, I'm pretty drained. Uh, <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, nonetheless. <laughs> uh, but what's weird is I realized that yeah. when I'm by myself, yeah. I don't know what to do with myself. Same. Same. I just, mm-hmm. I literally got home and I was like, all right, I've got like this list of stuff I'm going to do and yeah. I'm so excited yeah. and I did nothing. nothing. I got in the bed. Literally, yes. <laughs> I got in the bed. I was like, I, this is Well, great. I usually will like turn on the music and then I do like sing and I just do random stupid things around the house. And then G- I, But I do all of that while people are still there. Gina, say it's Saturday. You don't have no work to do. All the kids are gone. Dubs is gone. What are you doing all day? They're not coming home for 24 hours. What are you doing? I'm binge watching something stupid. Like what? Like what would early. it be? What would you? What would be your go to? My latest thing is SWAT because okay, Shamar Moore. Ooh, I didn't really need to say anything he else. He is fine. He is fine. I he like, like his Schmore. Honestly, thing. though, the whole you guys ever, did you, oh, you say Schmore? Did you hear what she just said? No, what you I said? Get out. I said he looks like his breath probably. Stays. No, he looked Damn. like he, he looked like he can breathe on me in the middle no, of the night. It, you know he, what? The he, really, really he cute looks guys, like I don't care if his breath. Stays. No, I know. <laughs> like the really, really cute guys to me look like they breath probably stink. Like something wrong with him. I know. I I will look at a guy and be like, it looks like his dick smells like cheese. Hey, <laughs> like you know, pimento cheese. Yes. Yeah. Well, wait, what kind feta. of cheese? It smells like feta. <laughs> Is it a cheddar? See, I like cheddar. I, I feel yeah. like Kaylin and I, we, we're on the same page over here because you can look at guys. Just like, yeah. I know guys do that. Like, Wait, what are, by looks of me, nope. what do I smell like? You smell like <laughs> you smell like Old Spice for yeah. sure. Old you Spice? definitely smell like Old Spice. Yeah, that's, what? That's not yeah. a compliment. I'll take, I'll take it, I guess. I'll take it. Better than cheese. The Avon roll on clone. I was, yeah, I was going to go yeah. with like, I was, Sw- was going to go upgrade to the spray. You smell like, uh. you smell like, Skin and Old Spice. Oh, okay. Thanks. Like I'll hairy th- skin. Hey, no, just like regular skin. I smell good. Okay. Thank I'm you. Not you don't. Thank I've, you very I've, much. We're talking about what like we think you smell, smell like outside. based on your appearance. Oh, based on my appearance. So it's better, better than cheese. Like. Yeah, no. I'll take it. All right, Corey, thank you. Corey, thank you. No, one, no one's asking. No one's asking. All right, Corey. Corey. All right, Gina. No, Corey. I'm, I'm Corey. Corey. I'm Corey. sensitive. Don't don't do me. Don't do me. Don't don't do me. I'm sensitive. <laughs> Shut oh, he's doing the up. reverse first psychology. Time, first time Corey's ever told a girl, "Don't do me." <laughs> <laughs> Corey Carry looks on. like he smells like he hasn't flossed in a year or so. That's facts. That, <laughs> that's facts. Accurate. That that's not even a look. That's that's pretty. <laughs> We're going by looks, true. not by. Uh, no, I can't even smile for the rest of the thing. show now because not real so life, you know, not do, real life. Do guys do that? Do you look at women and think about what they would smell like? Because we do. Women do that. I, that's a thing. I look at women and I. I don't, I don't think of a food group. Imagine what they smell like, but it's like, I. I imagine if their underwear is clean or not. If, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, like, that's fair. Like. It, you got them because there's a difference between like you got doo doo stains and like you got like the dirt streaks, you know. I don't know that a lot of women have a dirt streak stains. is a doo doo stain. You, like mm, no, there's there's a difference. Like what? The, the, them like worn dirt streak stains from like like you just she just flipped them on the inside. Yeah, like you just don't wash your drawers or we, like you've been running. Right so. Is that a thing? Yeah, doing? unfortunately, you it know is. what? I will it say is? this. Okay, and I didn't know I was be embarrassed, but a certain person who I shall not name. Mm-hmm. It's not me, to be clear. No, 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 no. They're not in this room. But they are related to me. Damn. I, no, no, no. They're not in this room. Oh, this got but, juicy. But no, but they were packing to go somewhere. Yeah. And I said, is that all the underwear you're taking? To Corey? No, no. no it no. wasn't to Corey. I, I'm, was I'm in the room. It can't be And me. they said, well, they have two sides for a reason. What? No, <laughs> no, no. I have never in my life done that. No. I, and I said, it doesn't you know, even make uh, sense. I like said, that no, math is not math. I'm going to need you to go buy some more draws. Yeah. <laughs> That's nasty. I, I, they, said I, they have two sides for I a reason. I will say. They when, were being funny, but it was. When I went to Jersey, I had to go and buy one of my kids more underwear because yeah. they only pack like two draws. Yeah, but kids mm. pack stupid. And they they were an adult, but nonetheless, <laughs> <laughs> they they could vote. So. They can vote. You can vote. Yeah, but they oh, pack. I know which one it is. Yeah. They pack stupid but, for a long time. Yeah, but still, nonetheless, I'm just like you. We, you we were going to Jersey for an entire week, and you thought two pairs of underwear no. were going to get you through the entire week. You, you at least gotta have a pair day. And their their justification was. You said they had a washer and dryer. I just said that. Yeah, I said you said they got a washer and dryer. Why did you do all that extra work? 
right. So, yeah. Someone said you smell like beef. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> That's my daughter. Where's the beef? <laughs> Sloppy gentleman said nothing wrong with a hairy skin smell. Yeah. I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. It's not a bad. I wasn't saying it's a bad smell. It's just I don't know a, what skin is supposed to smell. I mean, you know how like our parents used to say you smell my skin. Smells like, like no, smell my skin. Like our parents used to say you smell like outside. Yeah, outside. Yeah, kind of like you know, that. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. you smell like skin, or you smell, smell like my wet skin. Rain. Smell, smell skin. my skin. Come over here, you smell too my skin. Far. No, thank you. <laughs> she said no, thank you. <laughs> you smell like baby oil. <laughs> Did it? We got a winner. <laughs> Thought I wash that off. <laughs> Actually, oh no, it's from my. I uh, put my beard. My, I had my beard oil before. Okay, I'm like, you smell good. It smells good. You want to smell me? No, no I want to smell your <laughs> fingers. Smell my fingers. I'm not smell, smelling smell your smell finger. finger, Gina. You smell my it. finger. Where was your hand? Don't worry about. No, it. Just wait, we're gonna play a game. Hold on, we gotta play a game called "Where Was Corey's Hand." <laughs> you, can you identify it? <laughs> That's a taint for sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it smells familiar. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Is it weed? You smell like weed? Alex oh. said you smell like Diddy. Oh, <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong smell. Wrong smell. Wrong smell. Like wrong, my bad, my bad. Wrong it wasn't, smell. It's not. It's not supposed to smell like weed. It's supposed to smell like baby, uh, baby. Corey. Baby, uh, baby, what are you doing powder? on the way here? Baby lotion. Baby lotion. Speaking of baby lotion, let's talk about your TikTok, Corey. What are you oh. doing? First of all, would you please enunciate <laughs> Right, brother? please. Yeah. <laughs> because that is not what I thought you said. <laughs> I thought, Wait, I thought, you said I thought TikTok was a new, like, dating app. Like, it's, like, it's like the new, we, the new. Um, all my bad. three of us look at each other like. Slow it down for a minute. I'm thinking like, all right, you want to talk about it? We can. Like grinders. Herpes a real out. thing, bro. Uh, no. All three of, of us. Just, speaking of TikTok, all three of us like, what? Thank you. That was so much better. So much better. What are you doing? Um, Corey, what are you doing? What? I watched your latest one today. Embarrassing me. You about You're embarrassing story? the show. How am I embarrassed? Okay, first off and foremost, that wasn't even that bad. You drank I, a whole bottle of wine. That's in not even the first time I've also, drank Cor- a whole bottle Corey's of wine. Corey's TikTok is not what's embarrassing this show. <laughs> 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 Have you heard right. us? Yeah. We like, don't know how to act. act. That's the least of our concerns. <laughs> what kind of wine was right. it again? So, what are you doing? All right. So for those of you guys who don't know, I make TikToks and I drink on my TikToks. That's not what I do. Not TikToks. Yes, TikToks. <laughs> that one's for your mom. TikToks. That's for your mom. Hey. But, uh, oh, that was the we, funniest. We still got to talk TikTok about that. Only fans. But um, but nonetheless, uh, I had my first sip of alcohol a little over three years ago, and since then I've been trying random drinks online, and I don't necessarily like the taste of alcohol, so I try drinks and I rate them as best I can, and I'm really rating them from a perspective of a new drinker or someone who's 15 years but he old doesn't do it well the... you guys he's a really bad drinker yeah. so. he's like a 12 so, yeah, year old like he, like, he like, just started yesterday he pours mm-hmm. like this much vodka and this much mixer like, gina you gotta watch his latest tiktok he drank a whole bottle of wine like the whole yeah. thing like, stra- and he takes it so, straight to the face and yeah, it, runs, yeah. it runs down his face it's it was like a friday so, night for Corey. so, so with, it's like watching a toddler alcohol. down a bottle of wine it's so it's ridiculous. gross yeah so my uh if you want to follow it it's uh cory w dot king on tiktok <laughs> we lost power sorry about that what is it sure. again what is it again? it's cory w dot king on tiktok you can follow it there it's the the latest uh non-pen video i'm drinking uh 19 crimes martha stewart uh shard which i think stands for chardonnay it's like 13.5 percent alcohol which isn't a lot of you alcohol. committed 19 crimes by drinking that uh, right. i've committed a lot more than 19 crimes according to and a shard. saturday night but and a shard. yeah yeah that's another thing that's my speaking next topic speaking of crimes yeah speaking of crimes but yeah so but nonetheless i i that's how i do my tiktoks i drink all at once in about 10 seconds and right. irresponsibly. Okay, but but so, yeah. when you, you're drinking as though you haven't been educated on it, mm-hmm. we have educated you that that's too much alcohol. Numerous times. Yeah, but so, you know so what? So now you need to... I have... I actually purchased yesterday a breathalyzer. And so what I'm going to start doing is after my TikTok... Drinking it. I'm going to do 15 minutes and then I'm going to do a breathalyzer to see how it has affected me legally. Your kids are so proud. They kids are. are so I proud. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. You Drink know, the whole you know, wine. Did you get the breathalyzer from Amazon? Mm-hmm. Your flag does an alcoholic. That's um, fine. Also, it, that's not Thank even as know. bad as his Everclear one. No, yeah, like that was he took horrible. a or Hennessy glass of and Everclear. What was the one he gave face? us? I don't know. That was disgusting. Whatever it was. 
Seven uh, Up, Malort. I, I've done Malort. I've done. I've done a lot of drinks on there. We'll and talk about when you did same. it here. I don't remember, but it was really gross. That was gross. But nonetheless, yeah, I, I'm not a gross. good drinker. The worst one was the one that had mayo in it. What? Uh, or when? Or when like he BLT? thought the when he thought worm. the sweet yeah. and sour drink mix was McDonald's sweet and yeah. sour sauce. That's her sauce. fault. That, that no, is her fault. Is, that's okay. understandable. No, no it's that's not. understandable. Thank you. No, that that Stop one was because it's like a syrup. Thank you. It's like a syrup. No. Why couldn't okay. you put it in your drink? And mix off, it up. It also said sweet and sour sauce is what the instruction said on the that's McDonald's. What that's what it says. No, that's what I put in my drink, and I was like, "You know right, what, Corey? Boom! Kudos to you. Thank I, I would have done the same damn thing. If you. someone said sweet and sour sauce, I would have went right to Mickey D's. Sweet and sour sauce. It just said sweet and sour. I will pull up the instructions that were given. They were very clear. It said sweet and sour sauce, it's and I thought you're, just, you're great. just fat, so you read. So sweet hey, and sour. that's probably it. Look, we don't big fat back. shame. Calm but, down, so, big back. So here's the deal. That particular one, my son's teacher, like yeah. she's a fan. Mm. I don't know why, but she of was Corey. Like, she yeah, she's yeah, a fan that's of the chicken. Sad. What's, what's funny is she actually sent me one. She said, "Oh my gosh, this dude is so heavy, and he looks a lot like you." And I was like, "That would be my brother." She was like, "Really? Like for real?" I said, "Yeah, biological, same mom, oh, same dad." And she was like, "What?" Poor so thing. for her birthday, she she kept like asking him to do this shot. And I said, "Corey, for her birthday, can you please do this shot that mm. Melody has asked for?" And so he does it, and then he puts the sweet and sour. And she was like, "No." <laughs> She was like, I yeah. want to do I would have done the same thing, Corey. Exactly. So, I, so no, no, hold I, on, wait yeah. a minute. How I drink my drinks is I am drinking them just like I would if I were Were you drinking right before old. you tried to say that? Because it sounded like it. Well, well I was supposed start. to drink today, but I, drink, I, I, I was supposed to drink today, but I, I thought I had vodka in my car, but it was actually Fireball. That's I brought him me. these um, new uh, sparkling ice starburst drinks to put vodka in those look good he forgot mm. oh those look they good. really do taste like starburst but they're just a little bit too much for me hold on a second hold on a second put some water in we it. got right into the studio a message that says did i mention that me and the kids ran into Corey at a pizza place oh signed by my mom you guys wait 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 before oh, we do no, this wait she saw me too because i was there right yeah. but wait before we do this i have got to say that this is honest to god one of the funniest <laughs> jokes i've ever seen in my life i'm giving Corey all the props right now all the props i was literally falling over laughing showing trying to read it to dubs crying laughing while all this was going on like I almost died um, when this happened, just to, to preface this yeah. whole story. Cause oh, in the group? Yes. Because yeah. me so. and you automatically thought that yeah. we're so, talking about so, his little family. So, so what happened was... Oh, my God, I'm dying. I had... Uh, so uh, Gina, Nick, and Crystal, who's out today, we're all in a group chat together. And it's the big Nick Energy chat. and we Mostly it's nudes. Yeah, pretty... pretty <laughs> I, prom- of, I of, promise of you I. it's not. I <laughs> of Nick and I, mostly. But... Um, <laughs> Nonetheless, that was a meatloaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a meatloaf. That wasn't me nude. But nonetheless, uh, I had started off with mm. um, hate you. Uh, we announced here. I to, got I oh, got oh, it up for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Had a great dinner with the family tonight. We told the kids we were official, and I just put this in the group chat, and that was kind of it. And then Crystal responds, "Who you and Gina? Meaning me and Hot Gina." And then Nick's like, wait, what? Because I know and, you got you have a new you have a new you have a new child and mm-hmm. you have other children. Yeah, so and, I didn't know if they then, ever met. So I'm like, okay, they it, finally met. Exactly. And then East Side or um, what S- is your South Side? South Side, South Side. is SS, SS Gina. SS Matt Gina is like, <laughs> uh, so so Scarlet wasn't confirmation enough. And uh, Nick's like, yeah, right. And so then I post this picture. Don't even don't. Mm. Can you can you see the picture? Hold it up a little closer. It's a Hold it up a little closer. Of Nick's mom and with kids. his beautiful with, family uh, with Corey. It's Nick's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous mother. She is beautiful. Gorgeous mother. She is beautiful. How dare you stay away from my family? I was three feet away from that picture. They all gave me hugs. Mm-hmm. Your son was like, "I'm Nick's son." Yeah. I was like, hey. Honestly, your family is the most generous and kindest people so ever. Sweet. My son was just holding the door for people, and one of your children were like, "That looks like Corey's son." That's Corey right there, and they all gave hugs to my children. Who you touched my ki- oh. for the first time that they've never mm-hmm. met my children. Did you hug my mother I, I, when I, I, when that I, picture I that, when Nick. that picture came through? It took me mm-hmm. out. Like I was done. I, I was. was I threw the phone. To, I had to do a yeah. uh, insurance claim to, on my phone to address if I hugged your mother, Miho. 
me <laughs> Not only stay did out I, of my language. Not only did I hug your mother. Stop it, Corey. I gave her the squeeze. I Corey, <laughs> stop <laughs> it. And, and then proceeded. Corey. And then proceeded to talk smack and tell Nikki was going to teach him how to ride a bike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can't. The stepdad yeah. jokes mm-hmm. were going so hard in that group chat, and I could yeah. not. I was laughing. You made I me call him breathe. dad in the, yeah. in this, when he came <laughs> yeah. in the studio yeah. today. He's like, "Hi, son." Yeah. I said, "Hi, dad." Wait, uh, wait a minute. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I, so I threw this at him, and he caught it. And I was just like, "Haha! I told you to have that catch." So stop yeah. it! Mm-hmm. You leave my mom out Hilarious. of this. Well, oh, your, your, so your mom's a jerk, this, man. Your mom's you're in a this. jerk. <laughs> or you're you're in. Oh wait! Stop <laughs> it, Gina! You stay out of it. Pause. I'm sorry. Sorry. Your, your family a, is great, though. You like, melting the, mound of mashed potato. Yeah. Or what'd you say it was? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Who? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Those mashed potatoes. Ice cream. But all jokes aside, your family is incredibly they kind are. and generous they and, are. and, they and, really and, are. and gorgeous Thank as you. well. Like, Thank you. Honestly, 100%. Um, if we weren't friends, I'd be honored to be friends just to be. Uh, associated with your family they are well thank absolutely you absolutely amazing it's awesome. means a lot yeah so um the other thing uh i was not here last weekend uh, or last monday because i was attending last realtor standing as a special guest of comedian ashley smith and uh it was a little awkward because there are a few people there that i'm not all have not always been um the most friendliest with if you will uh, Demetrius Nicodemus, uh, who publicly people think that we have beef, but it was honestly a great time. He was very funny. Uh, it was really fun to see him, but more importantly, it was fun to hang out with him. It was fun to joke with him. We actually went up to the uh, bar Louis afterwards, and uh, someone came up to us and made a, a comment about, like, uh, do you wink at women? And it kind of started this whole back and forth between me and him of just joking back and forth and it honestly felt really good to just kind of laugh with him again which is something that i have not done since we were on kiss fm together which believe it or not was over 10 years ago uh so uh it was really good to see him uh ashley palicki was there performing stand-up as well as charlie mack uh who were also I amazing love charlie. i love charlie as well uh amazing radio people ashley came in technically speaking second place because first place was a tie good for uh, her she did an amazing job but uh everybody that i think went it was a fear was, uh, too like she was very very nervous i was watching her post about mm-hmm. it she was so nervous she was about it very nervous but everyone did a, a, a great great job uh, very honored to be her guest and very thankful for uh, for the invitation. So that was awesome. Yeah. Why do you look like Where's a lost puppy? From? What? What? Take your headphones off. For the a voices in your head. Oh, no, I was not doing it. All right. It was okay. a or something. All right. Good talk. Oh, was it? <laughs> it's her fan. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, oh my god! He's, he's getting like, up, like it? looking around for stuff, and you just I didn't hear it. She's just hot. Oh, now I can hear it now. Yeah, is that it? it? Yeah, turn it on again. It's on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Oh my god, I was uh, losing my mind. Yeah, like you look like Jesus. you were like. I was like, I started I turning lights to... off in the studio. Yeah. You look I like a bomb sniffing dog. Damn. I was like, what is that? What? Yeah, sorry. What? I have personal what? summers. Did you see him walking around? Like. He said you look like a bomb sniffing dog. <laughs> like, That's all right. Like, he was worse. on a mission though. He was like he he was over there in the worse. corner on the table and everything. I, I, Smelling yeah. Corey. I, I'll turn yeah. my fan off. Smell like a P Diddy party over there in that corner. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. Hey, uh-uh. baby what? oil and Versace. Oh, uh-uh, no, and rape. <laughs> Stop. What, the, what in the Stop. world? You know what? Why are we making jokes? He's a rapist. Stop I, it. I don't actually know what he did, so I'm not. I don't. They I'm call not making him the jokes. diddler. What do you think? He he coerced people Sounds into like having sex and group sex, and it's not okay. So he's a negotiator. He's not. He's a rapist. He's a businessman, Corey. He's a rapist. All right. Well, anyway. rape, rape is not a laughing matter, and I don't joke about rape. But right. So I, stop. I, I, I again don't. The only thing that like I've actually party. seen was uh, racketeering and um, uh, right. Uh, uh, was the racketeering and prostitution. And I don't think prostitution be, should be a crime. Myself. No, I Corey, what I would you charge for your body? What do you mean? Oh, if he, someone, if you were a prostitute, he'd have to male. charge a lot. If how it much was would per you pound? charge? Like male or female? Per pound? <laughs> Wait, what? A girl, <laughs> right. girl came up to you. A girl came up to me. Wanted to buy you. Okay. <laughs> he said male or 
he bailed? for sixty minutes of time. He didn't care. Okay. What's your worth? He's not super picky. Like, What's your worth? Are we like? Are we talking like just hand whatever stuff? For, or like, for, are we like all in? Or yeah, we, all in. Which hole? <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, am I performing or is she doing stuff to me? Like, You're performing. You got to give her the deed. I'm, oh, I'm giving her? Okay. Yeah. And she uh, ain't cute. Is she pegging him or is oh, he? Oh, <laughs> you've seen my past. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Uh, She's that, not cute. That, that doesn't bother me as much as it should. <laughs> <laughs> Smells uh, like shredded cheese. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Smells like shredded cheese. Again, in my wheelhouse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> see here. Uh, my, my last going rate was 125 Jesus For an hour? Um, yeah. That's not bad. No, no. no. That's I'm, not bad. I'm, I'm, I'm That's Nagoya pricing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm reasonable. What is happening um, right now? Okay. I, my cash app is on my bio for okay. anybody. Uh, I got bills. Yeah, you took my payment to last payment. time. That was yeah, fine. It came yeah. through. So, yeah. Gina, what would you charge? What would I charge for what? You were a prostitute for one one hour. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I thought this was an ongoing business. No, just for one hour. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just I, one hour. Just one hour total? Yeah. Uh, $33,610. What? 33610 That's got to be something that he so owes specific? on something. You owe something? You got to... No, but if it's if it, I'm only doing this for one hour of my life? No, like if someone came up to you and like, hey, I want to buy, buy you for an so, hour. So, like it's my job? No, it's a one and done. You're one in done. Vegas. So my, somebody so, comes Like up. an indecent proposal? Yeah. Oh, three hundred thirty-three thousand six hundred and ten dollars. I mean, what? for me, that's a lot I, of money. Like, yeah. if somebody walks up, clearly they and they ask me for. Clearly, they they have an idea, so I'm going to ask them. Like, what do you want to give me? What if they're like, us? listen, forty bucks? Then I'd say, f you, goodbye. Hundred bucks. I, 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 no, see, I'm not so doing it for a hundred either. It's not. It's, First it's, of all, I have fucking gorilla grip, sir. Uh, oh, it's sorry. Uh, oh, freaking, <laughs> freaking. Sorry, uh, I got aggressive. It was good context. It was good context. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> that was a little aggressive. First of all, she went straight from zero to a hundred. Sure she went back you to You got a story you want to tell us? <laughs> I, because it's gorilla grip. So, so you, I'm, I'm you have to know. Extra. You have to know your worth, and I'm good at what I do. So that's oh, why I'm going to boy. charge. <laughs> That's what there I'm saying. Is. More. That's what there I. That's exactly is. where I was going with mine yeah. too. Like I, yeah. Like I do that thing that you like. I promise. Yeah. We got and Maria in the group. Uh, first time listener. If Sorry, Maria. I apologize, Maria. I, that was very aggressive. We normally I'm don't not talk normally like this. that aggressive. Apparently, she charged an extra twenty for that girl again. Yeah. But I was, I, I was offended. 25. I was very offended by Nick's forty dollar offer. Mm -hmm. So I was asking. It's not an auction. It's not like we're negotiating. My price is my price, and you're going to pay my price. Damn, thirty three thousand. Thirty three thousand six hundred ten dollars. Sure? I don't know about that. Do not. Don't forget the six hundred and ten dollars that. that go on top of the three thirty three thousand. Um. So yeah, that that's the, the and if you're a male, it goes up a little higher than that. Just a little, little. Thirty three grand. I'm, I'm sorry, realistic. You're, you're not Another making six, money. Ten. I know my Another worth. Another six ten. All right. I I am? No one's making money. <laughs> I mean, honestly, for thirty five thousand dollars, listen. You better come with a Kia, is what I'm saying. I, I mean, I do. For $35,000? I, I might make a hole. I can buy a house on the east side. A <laughs> okay. I, mean, I can make a hole? Dude. Listen, I might make a hole. Dude, we can do the little I'm, pouring. Listen, we I'm can fold in the stomach and make poor. a whole new pole. And... I got a little box cut. I'm poor. Mm -hmm. I'm poor, dude. My belly button got pregnant. Mm. I mean, I'm fat. My belly what? button's probably deep enough Stop for most it. What would for you most charge? <laughs> what would I charge? Like, for, for, for real? I don't know. I wouldn't even know. It was your question. I don't wouldn't even know. I didn't <laughs> think about it. <laughs> We're having our own show over here. We yeah. don't really... <laughs> I'm not a piece of meat. Really? I don't think I would. Everybody's got a price. I'm... First of all, you got to ask Danielle what her price is for for you because she would be mm -hmm. mad if you turned down a, like a certain amount of money. Yeah. Because like Dubs, okay. Dubs would say no up to a point. Okay, and then so he'd be I, like, you're I, dumb. If I was married, then obviously I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Why? No, no, it's not worth it. Okay, it's, it's a it. hole. He, hear me out. It's not worth it. Hear me out. What it's price? And I'm not trying to get you in trouble, but what price would you allow Danielle? Nothing. To, Nothing. Let me finish the question. I don't care. Let me finish the go question. Ahead. Go ahead. He's, he's what, full of it. What That's price not true. would you allow Danielle to go on a date with another man, but there's not going to be any sex? Nothing. None. Nope. I ain't doing None. it. None. No. No. He's None. saying that. So okay, you're saying that because we're on air. No, yeah. but I wouldn't do it. I'm letting you know right now. That would I break. That would. What, I want to know would what break my heart. Prices. That would uh, break my heart. I'll let you know right now. Gina went to Columbus this weekend, and I'm thinking, 
you know what? She can do this every single weekend. <laughs> I'll be pretty it. good with it. That would break my heart. Knowing she that she's at dinner with someone else, that'd break my heart. Yeah, but she's okay. only there for the money. It ain't like she's no, cheating but still, on you. It don't matter. She still, she's there to make mentally. Your I can't do it. You, you authorize. There's she, no deception <laughs> involved. There's no. Like, I've been through too much drama, too much trauma in my life that it would just trigger some things. So it's it's do that it. communication Listen, and open and honest it. relationships. Can't do it. Dubs, if. If you have the right amount of... Dubs is cute, too. You got the right he amount is. of money. Uh, that's cute. a good-looking man. He is. He's he just fine it. in the bedroom. Mm. I'm just, come, come, Give me an offer. Bring in that D. Yeah, Cor- Cor- that Cor- Corey's just slid me an offer under Swing. the table. Hey, I'm dubs. thinking... He got that New York, like that deep New York voice too. Yes, he's got the he's got that Jay Z accent. Someone he, noted. Uh, someone noted your thirty three thousand six hundred and ten dollars in the group. Yeah. Did who, they raise him? Who? 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 Uh, sloppy gentleman. Okay. I mean. I mean, just again, by his name, Corey's gonna say yes. I <laughs> get a discount. For men, it's an additional six hundred and ten dollars. Just his so you know. name is Sloppy Gentleman. I, I'm gonna guess he can do some things. Also, can, someone I said twenty dollars some is twenty dollars. So, Jeff said twenty dollars is twenty dollars. I mean, for hand stuff, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. Take twenty bucks. But yeah, anyway, we can do. Uh, Kaylin, what is your price? What's your price, Kaylin? Uh, see, Jesus is the head of my life. Okay. And uh, Jesus gave you those. Okay. Say Jesus. <laughs> <is there. laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus also, also make you made you broke. Uh, <laughs> right. That's very true. You can scream know. Jesus's name during it all you Stop want. You, you, can, you can praise Jesus. <laughs> hallelujah. The whole way through. Like, from, I my, from my that. understanding, Jesus takes 10 percent. So go oh, on. Do oh your thing. Yeah, go ahead and pay him. That's it. All you got to do is tithe. Everything's really forgiven. <laughs> Someone's like, hey, girl, how much to go home with me for an hour? Disclaimer, don't listen to Corey and I. How much? Right. How much, Caitlin? I, you know, I really don't know. Um, I think I probably would kind of go along Gina's route. I would say, how much What if they're like willing? $200 for one hour? Uh, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not a whole hour. No. I'm, I'm worth but more like than $200. $200 for six minutes. <laughs> possibly. See? Everybody's got a price. But, but I'm saying, I said possibly. Uh, My yeah. thing is like, depending on what it is that you want, there will be some barriers and things like that. Uh. But it's like... Okay. Oh, everybody got their limits. Get right up on that mic, Kayla. Get right up on that mic. I'm sorry. We're going to negotiate. Okay. But you got to give me a price. Right. And it's got to be something fair. And I'm going to go up 20% higher than what what your highest price is. Yeah. Then we're going to sit there and, yeah, we'll go back and forth. $63. All right. So $63. That means. So. $76. Seventy six seventy six dollars. Eighty eight bucks. That's, yeah, that's, you can have uh, uh, Kaylin for thirty minutes. I don't know. I ain't had a man in so long. It might be two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a, you know what? I'll take three dollars. She's like, what she look like? I'm like, if you got a crispy two dollar bill, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is he hot? I she mean, walks out of the room with some potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Name brand them. Uh, they gotta be lazy. I'm not, I'm I not got doing lays. great value. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, Shamar Moore. Yep. Oh no, you said he looks like he has, his breath stinks. Oof. LL Cool J. Okay, yeah. LL. Ooh. LL comes up. Oh wait, 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 wait. He's wait. like Joy McIntyre. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, he is so cute. Okay, Joey McIntyre comes up. How how much money does he have to give you? She ain't charging nothing. I'm say, she ain't got to say nothing. <laughs> She's like, I'll give you five dollars and some chips. Uh, <laughs> LL Cool J uh, or or uh, Shamar Moore or at the same time. Mm-hmm. I don't get. I don't. <laughs> Gina, stop. Put your hands down, I Gina. At the same time. Close your mouth, <laughs> Gina. I can't. I don't know how to turn the thing off. You can't turn the camera. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> you didn't let. It says you, live. You got live in four. Got the countdown. I don't know what to do here. He panicked. <laughs> <laughs> She's out of control. <laughs> push all the buttons. We're gonna take a break here for a little bit, right here. <laughs> the big, the big energy. <laughs> Stop it! She's gonna throw up. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> but she okay. comes out with a black eye and a big lip. <laughs> I, I don't care. Oh, I don't care. And all Dub says is, say. "How much did we get?" <laughs> exactly. No, because yeah. for them it's nothing, babe. Mm-hmm. How much? Oh. We got some D. <laughs> <We> got, <laughs> sorry, babe, your ass out on this one. <laughs> sorry, I brought this one up. <laughs> Gina, what'd you bring with us this week? Um, <laughs> <laughs> a mess. <laughs> uh, can you get some paper towels in the studio, please? A mess. Okay. Why is there um, a puddle under the floor? <laughs> stop it! I just bought them seats. <laughs> Okay, Gina, okay. Sorry. take them bottles away from her. She's okay. gonna choke. I, I won't. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's choke. worth a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, Nick. Stop it! You have to lose weight. 
What is your subject? What has that got to do with taking <sighs> no more calories? Those, those oh. are that is calorie free. It's actually negative calories. That's right. Really? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah. There's no calories. See Danielle. It's, <laughs> it's working out. Danielle, if there's calories in it, then I feel sorry for Nick. Stop biting. It. <laughs> I basically gave you a salad. <laughs> No, no, don't toss oh, the salad. That's different. No, it's <laughs> way different. Wrong hole. Wrong hole. Oh, my bad. That's how you get E. That's how you get E. coli. It went, it went from the subway salad. That's how you get pink eye. Uh, um, speaking okay. of pink eye. It <laughs> so, <laughs> how do I get rid we, of it? We're a mess. What time is it? Holy crap, this has flown by. Okay, so um, I wanted to tell you guys. The, the, firstly, I'm so sorry I wasn't here because... The first week it was because I had pulled a muscle in my back because I'm old. But after you pulled, after I pulled the muscle, it kept like spasming. Oh, I had that. and just getting worse and worse until the point that like pull I backs couldn't, suck. I couldn't function, so I had to um, like I was the thought of just coming here and even sitting was awful. And so um, I had to go to the doctor. They made me do a bunch of X-rays, which was stupid. Um, and they put me on muscle relaxers and. But I can't do pain meds because I get stupid and loopy when I take pain meds. Are so. you on pain meds now? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no you are rare form. Ma'am. This is me in the raw. She's on pain yeah. meds. <laughs> <laughs> no, this we is need what... you on pain meds every week. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get. Do you like um, to sponsor some pain meds of the show? After after my three week hiatus, I'm a little bit. Uh, I have a little bit of energy now. Nice. Um, but then the following week, um, what was the? Oh, the, my daughter got COVID. COVID. So I was willing to come though, but Nick was like, "No nah, thanks." No thanks. Not in this <laughs> small stay, room. Just stay home. Uh, so you, um, just so you guys know, if you're ever sick, don't come in studio mm-hmm. or been yeah. around someone that's like had COVID. Like, just stay away. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I. That's why I wanted to leave it up to you because it was like five days later, and I felt okay. But I, for me, I had to leave that to him. Right, you know, right. I, I, coming in his house. We're too close in here. And then um, the following week, I got a flat tire, mm. and so it's like it was one thing after another. So I'm. Really it happens excited. in threes. To be here because I was like, what? I, my my thought was like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen today? I'm really scared because I haven't been able to be there. So, right. anyways, I'm sorry I wasn't here. But it was. Oh, like, we you appreciate know you. I love having. Honestly, I love having you two on the show. You guys make this show so great for not only for the show but for me. Like I enjoy hanging out with. You. I think that's helpful that we genuinely like each other. Yeah, like it's very yeah, that right. that helps a lot. Yeah, yeah like, cool. You yeah. definitely make the show what it is. <laughs> that's why you only get invited. Sometimes. I don't, I don't yeah, like exactly. people. I will say this: um, your absence was absolutely missed, and I'm so glad you're back. Corey, you weren't even here. Uh, I'm, know, right? I'm just saying because <laughs> you brought back so much more funny than I could have ever hoped for. So thank. Also, you so I had much. coffee too. That was very helpful because yeah. I'm like I'm gonna have a cup of coffee before I go because a lot of times by on Monday teaching. I get here and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. So I decided to drink some coffee on the way here, and I think I might have to do this every week. You seem uh, you seem a little bit more on it today. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So, and then we love having guests like Kaylin. She's one of our. I, you, I guess you're considered one of our regulars. Hey, I, I we love, love when having K- you. I love. I always get Kaylin compliments comes. after the show, like, oh, Kaylin's great. Yeah. she's so great. Oh, yeah. thanks. I try not to suck. She she's definitely so fits in. I do if they pay me enough. <laughs> Corey's like, eh. Stop with I'm not. You're no more. Take. She's not getting no you're more waters, Corey. You're I, done. I'll suck for the right price too, because I mean, I got some car payments. Stop still. it. I mean, I try not to no. suck as a decent human being. Yeah, a well, decent human does suck. That's that's oh uh, gosh, Corey. A real good Corey? decent human being swallow. I am that's your sister. Stop it. Good, just good saying, American citizens. You, you would be a. You would be my married sister if you actually followed suit and did yeah, some more shit. That's, that's true. true. That's that's true. true. That's you would not be single. True. Dubs hasn't been with me for twenty one years mm-hmm. for nothing. Uh, All I'm saying is maybe the next time you meet a guy, you should try Sam. <laughs> Instead of just, I don't thank meet you or people. I don't go any place to meet people. Corey, That's what? But you, you want her to that is good advice. Bring a penis over and shove it in her mouth. No. That would help. I have been. You know how long she has been single? Five dollars. Right. Five dollars forever. My son's eighteen. Yeah. So, anyway. All right, Gina. What else you got for us this week, Gina? <laughs> oh, oh. So I went to yeah. um, the Cleveland Giants game because Dubs is a Cleveland fan. Like and the I, NFL. Dubs is a Giants Cleveland. fan, and my brother-in-law is a Cleveland fan, and what? I got to see Andy Joe live. She was amazing. That is Andy awesome. Joe. Wait, you got to see her at the Cleveland I game? I did, oh, yeah. and it, she was amazing. And it's funny because I saw her at first when we got there, and she was first of all she was dressed super cute, so she had on these shiny boots and like 
her, oh, her shirt so was shiny. Cool. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's so sparkly. I love her. But I didn't realize it was Andy Joe. Oh, you didn't know it was her at I first. had no idea. Okay. So she was like down by the field and we, we had really good seats. So we were, I was like, oh my gosh. I told my sister, I'm like, check out her outfit. She's so cute. So we were already commenting on her. <clears throat> and then when she came out, I was like, oh my God, that's Andy Joe. She's from Toledo. We're I didn't even put two yeah. and two together. There you go. And so yeah. um, then she sang and I, she, I'm telling you guys, first of all, she is amazing anyway, like genuinely, mm-hmm. but I've, I've heard her sing like, um, like streaming yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And I've heard her sing live in studio. I've never actually heard her sing live. She is better live. She's like, great. Yeah. If you she's can great. go see her somewhere, please do that. Because I wanted to go the week Corey went. I just, <clears throat> I, I did. So much came that Friday. I actually saw her at live at Danny's that Friday, the uh, 28th. Yeah. She did uh, amazing. And, and, and it, it, I, it wasn't the 20. Anyway. How was she with she, the band? The band was great too. I didn't really know what to expect with her, with the band, with the loud music and everything. Yeah. The place was absolutely insanely packed. Was it? Like I had to stand because there were no seats. Oh damn! And I was not the only person standing. Jeez. And her family's so generous. Her mom came up to me and said, "I thought I saw you back here. You should come up with us because you're family now. So welcoming Aww. and loving. Just every everyone just gave me Aww, a hug. Damn she, it. it! Just her Still talent horrible. level. And, and she doesn't there. just sing. She's an entertainer. She got up on the bar. She moved around. She's engaging with the crowd. Just puts on Sounds a great, like a great show. So Maria, you, episode you twenty-two, you. Andy Joe was live in she studio. Is, she is a saint. No, I'm not saying she's not, but I'm like the description you just gave. You did kind of make is that of a stripper. Uh, you said she was on the bar. Uh, yeah, yeah, she was right. entertaining. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, she was engaging uh, with the crowd. She was. She's. A, she is a saint. She What's is. cool so is cute. the week before she sang the national anthem for the Cleveland Browns, she was live here with exactly. us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. If That's you listen really closely on YouTube, you watch That's the the her singing the national anthem. They the NFL actually says just premiering on the mm-hmm. Big Nick Energy Show. Andy Joe. Yeah. She definitely. They definitely yeah. said yeah. that. Well, they it, did say that. It's interesting. Like you have to like take the letters that they said and put them in different orders to get them to say that. Exactly. Right. But it's there. Yeah. It's yeah. There. that translated well, differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but I will say that says that's a says a lot about I think her as a person. Yeah. That one day she's on this little podcast and in, in your house, and the next the next very next week she's NFL. at Cleveland Brown Stadium. Right. Yeah. You know, I I think that says a lot about who she is as yeah. a human. And then she like called her. us the next week to tell us all about it. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Like and, nothing. And uh, I'm I I don't want to give away the horse too much, but I am trying to put together a show to book her on myself. Is that a real what? saying? Yeah, well, I don't want to give away give the away horse. the horse. That's a saying. What yeah. horse? Did you just that make it. that up? Right, like what horse are you giving away? You mean I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth? No, no. It's like, he just wait, took, what? he just combined a bunch of he sayings sure together. Like that's right. not a real thing. Okay, well, I'm gonna what give horse? Say, I don't want to give it away. Well, do you mean you want don't want to put the cart in front of the horse? Yeah, uh, I, that's I, it. All right, I I I don't want. To give you, away the farm? I don't want to spoil it. Hey, who's farm? <laughs> <laughs> and who the what how does a horse get brought into this? <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> <laughs> she it how do we get into anyway, oh, okay, so the farm you're trying, animals? You're trying to put together Ve- a show. All I'm saying is very soon. <laughs> I will have an Andy Joe announcement, and it's going to be huge. <laughs> what? She's going awesome. to be right. I want to be like Andy Joe. riding a horse. Sing. I'm not trying to sell the horse for half off, but listen. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Corey doesn't have a horse. He's got a cow. <laughs> That's the yeah. worst saying you yeah. could possibly say. He's over there just making <laughs> I don't want to give away the horse. <laughs> Never talked to a blind horse twice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Listen. Before the pig and the horse meet. <laughs> I want to tell you this whole thing. For the pig and the horse. <laughs> what is happening? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't teach it math, all right? <laughs> That's actually really true. I know math. <laughs> it's facts. <laughs> that makes sense. She <laughs> knows how to add. <laughs> Wait, I'm a horse? Uh, <laughs> Did you just call me a horse? Wow. Minus, minus, the cow. minus the S. Without the S. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh, no, okay. Yeah, no, that's. I, you said horse. Horse. Got it. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you said call me a horse. I was going to get offended. 
But horse, no. But then she sense. took it as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, there's a place so in this start, world. Start, start, start like, over, yeah. Corey. Take there's no back. such thing as horse. There's just good American citizens. <laughs> yes. Start over again. I, I don't even I know what happened. I don't. Oh, I don't know yeah. what happened what, either. What was the rest of this? I didn't hear anything about I, I butchering just, a horse or something. I don't. I'm know just what working on a big Andy Joe announcement that I plan on announcing <laughs> in a couple of weeks. That's all I. Corey's giving oh, away free horse four one nine two eight zero. Actually, if anybody needs three thousand six hundred and ten dollars. If anybody needs any good horse meat, let me know. I got you. I got you. Uh, no, thank you. What in the world? Oh, I don't know I'm what just happened. Crying. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> Sometimes I think we're doing this show just for us. We, I mean, yeah. definitely. I'm looking at the numbers and we are. <laughs> and we are totally here for us. Everybody everybody listening is like, I am so There's lost. a dash in front of three. <laughs> <laughs> Those three are on their way over here to whoop our asses. <laughs> they're, they're done with us and our shenanigans. Oh, so negative, Those three negative. just forgot to, t- to sign off. It's That's negative what that three. <laughs> we have negative <laughs> listeners. Uh, <laughs> they told other people don't listen to that. <laughs> Is it just Sorry for if you're listening for the first time. Uh, Wait, come uh, back. Corey don't want to get away. <laughs> That's how we lost two of them, Gina. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> He's ending the show early. I can't we're out of here. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Oh, we're going to skip the rest of the show. Co- I had coffee. That's what happened. Oh. Don't do that. I'm going to need you to get decaf next time. Okay. Oh. <laughs> At least half gas. <laughs> Kaylin, you bring anything with you this week, Kaylin? I did, actually. I forgot. Oh, my God. I, can't, oh, I got a headache. Okay, so I did. You got um, Kaylin. One of the things uh, that I found out is that they have changed the ABC song. What? Yeah, there's no Wait, more what? LMNLP. So, so because what? because kids are stupid. Yeah, <laughs> they are so stupid. They 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 legit thought that LMNLP was one letter. To be fair, so they thought it was it, called it, LMNLP. Yeah, yeah, they thought it was LMNLP. Think yeah. about it though. So no, LMNLP. <laughs> Q R S T. Wait, wait, no, wait, what? Elemental P. Elemental P. What's my? What started after the elemental P? You'd have to go through the entire alphabet and start over again. You could just start at the letter L. That's where you start to get to the elemental. She said A B C D. She said Q R. Wait, no. Elemental P. Z. Yes. Z Y W. Wait, what? So now the the song has changed. And n- because they don't want Elemental P to be, it starts with thing. S now. I'm trying to no, tell. No, it does yeah. not. <laughs> I have fact checked. It does not. Oh shoot. Okay. So, so what does it start with now? So does na- it, start it starts with, with, with it starts with A. Yeah. Okay. So, so a- now the the, the the original song everybody knows it. So now it's actually A B C D E F G H I J K L M N. OP okay, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Boo. Sorry. Boo. No, wait, let me finish. They even changed the end on you. <laughs> right. Put it in her mouth. Put it in her mouth, Gina. Yeah. She wouldn't know what like... to do with it. <laughs> Ooh. It was a water bottle for spicy, people not spicy. watching. <laughs> Whatever. So Is it a gusher? But, but the, but the Stop end it. of it, they they say not nah, I will I never will forget how to say my alphabet. They even took the now oh, I know. Oh damn, my, that's a diss. Uh, yeah, I was just like, hold up. So wait, they so changed, so who's trying to change it? Like the like the the kindergartens. They're, kindergartens yeah, they're actually there? teaching that in the schools now because what? these we are think, not at our school. Too many no, no, dumbass yeah, that, kids <laughs> thinks elemental P you is one letter. <laughs> Yeah. Like, we, we're, K, we're K through 12. But oh, yeah. okay. Well, actually, one one of my friends, she, she admitted, she said, I thought that was just one letter until somebody explained it to me. I was like, don't tell nobody else that. What? Don't tell anybody else I mean, it kind of makes that. sense. Elemental P. You say it really fast. But yeah. I remember my, Elemental P. my my stepdaughter, the first time when she was little and she was singing it, she was singing um, Skew U.S. And I'm like, what did Skew S you? do to you? <laughs> Skew U.S. Skew U.S. Well, that poor S. <laughs> right. So um, that that's the one thing is is that then my mm-mm. other question yeah. is mm-mm. what is your most mm-mm. unpopular opinion? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, he's ready. Oh, ooh, ooh. before we get into that, can we go back to the alphabet just for a second? Yes, go ahead. Um, when I was yeah. in school, I was taught that uh, you know the 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 A E I O U um, vowels. A E I O U. 
yeah, <laughs> vowels. Yeah, <laughs> but but like I don't. Wanna, I'm a grammar I, nerd. Sorry, I don't want to call them vowels because like you also have like the wedding ones too, and I want to get confused. <laughs> no. So, but like Maureen. the A U I O U ones, right? Yeah. I was taught like there's sometimes Y. Yeah. And sometimes W. And they taught no. us that. Nobody a, ever said that. Nobody I, ever said I, that. I promise you that. I was pro- in the same gym. Wait, what was Jude. the sometimes why? Oh, I, I wasn't at St. Jude. St. Jude. Sometimes yes. Y is like, uh, and when it's at the sometimes. end of the word, like mini. Yeah. I think. They they <clears> say they used to say A-E-I-O-U and sometimes Y. And, but nobody ever said W. They said sometimes W at St. Jude uh, Elementary School. Uh, which was located on Victory. Like his teacher was the tro- trolling the whole. And, actually, and, and that was a horrible school. Has since become four different schools. Yeah, so that horrible school. Something. But I was taught sometimes W, and I just want to know that just kind of goes like towards the other bad lessons I learned when I was a kid. But anyway, yeah, uh, about that. Uh, it's a no. <clears throat> uh-uh. Unpopular opinion. Uh-huh. Uh huh. This is gonna piss some people off, especially some people in this room. Ooh. Why are you looking straight at Nick though? What I do? Uh, <clears throat> I'm choosing violence. Nick. <clears throat> In you already have <clears throat> the movie. Yeah, The Lion King. You, okay, you know what? Ooh. You can go ahead and just stop talking right now. No. Hold on. Well, okay. Hold on. Hey, I'm hold, on. Hold, on. hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Kaylin. No, no, no. What happened? See, hear, hear, hear me out. Kamisha, uh, Kaylin. <laughs> yeah, loves The Lion King. I do. And uh, we Not just that one we just we just lost a treasure in James Earl Jones. We did. Mm. Speaking of which. Corey sends me a text. Sorry to hear about Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's exactly. all I got. And I'm like, what? Because I haven't been. I don't. Oh, you don't even on, know yet. I didn't yeah. even know. I'm not on Facebook. And then somebody said, oh, James Earl Jones. Died. And I'm like, oh, that's why he said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Mufasa. Yeah. Deserved to die. What? Mufasa deserved to die. I mean, say it with your chest. Why are you? <laughs> I'm saying Mufasa deserved to die because Scar was the rightful king, straight up. I mean, you, Mufasa stole his you birthright. Give me Wakanda vibes okay? over there. First off and foremost, Scar is older than Mufasa. Scar wanted everybody to eat. Scar wanted the entire kingdom to eat. Mufasa only wanted the lions. Did to you eat. cheer for Thanos? He probably did. Thanos had a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I Thanos knew it. wanted the world to like. The world was over. We're going to Wait, so you're for Scar? I'm 100% for Scar. What? All right. S- hear me out. Mufasa is a racist. Oh, gosh. What? You what? know that scene where he's where Simba's with his daddy and just like, everything the light touches is ours. Yeah. But what why, about Why that? was he a pirate? <laughs> right. <laughs> ours. But what about ours. that dark place over there? Oh, we don't go over there. That's the hood. Say, that's, that's, that's not that's what he said. said. That's, that's, that's the, not what he the said. That's the shadows. Why, why did, I mean, that's what he why, meant. Why, that's what, that's why, what he meant. Why, why don't you go to the shadows? Said, why don't you go to the shadows? Scar wanted everybody to eat. Scar wanted the hyenas, the elephants, everybody to eat. Mufasa just wanted the lions to eat. That's it. So I'm team Scar all the way. Team hey, Scar. I mean, oh, Scar right. ruined the pride lands. Scar only ruined the pride land because the pride land ruined the pride land first. Kaylin. Okay. That, How do you feel? How's your horse? Because that's about as much sense as you made. <laughs> my, my horse died months ago. <laughs> because because of Scar. Scar killed your horse. No, Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa's so, malnutrition I don't know plan killed my horse. Somebody Nick, told me that. Because only lions can eat. That's why my Nick, horse Nick died. Nick just lost all control of his yeah. own show. Right. I have no there, idea. There's it's just big energy thing. show now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I have never heard someone so passionate, I am passionate. passionate I in, in about that, Scar. In that scenario... Mufasa deserved to die. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you couldn't have said like Mufasa deserved to be dethroned. You're like, we went straight to right. Right. You, you can't Murder? dethrone a king. I mean, you can. When I, my, you think my kid's gonna take over my throne and I'm still gonna be alive? Hell no. They gotta kill me. I've met Sky. Okay. Um, so, um, <laughs> He's anyway. not even a direct heir. Fully <laughs> well, aware. What what's well, happening aware. right now? Anyway, go on. Anyway, go on. no, I have I have seen that like you know Scar is actually the dad but then somebody said that uh scar i'm oh, sorry not the dad scar is uh, the rightful king M- but then Foss hold, adopted. hold on what i'm getting to that somebody was saying that scar was the rightful king and then uh mufasa somehow came into the family because he saved somebody or he was saved and so he ended up taking scar's place because scar wouldn't is there a right prequel somewhere that i so there's a yeah. backstory mm-hmm. there's yeah a there's like backstory. a backstory so i'm looking forward to seeing the mufasa 
movie. Is there one coming out? Yeah. What? Yeah, there's a movie called Mufasa that's coming out, I believe, in December. Why are you so, so mad, Corey? Because there's not a Scar movie that's telling the truth. Why story. are you heavy Well, maybe breathing. it's coming. I'm Why pissed because... Uh, okay. <laughs> a villain is only a... a a villain is just a hero whose story has not been told. And Scar's story is not okay. told. So that's okay, the problem. But, but why are you wearing thing. wool? Because, right. Because I'm cold. A sweater. Yeah. I'm cold. That's why. It is really not comfy. Would, would you quit touching me? <laughs> say it hurts. I touch you. But it you, feels like one of those army I would, blankets. I would touch you, but you're wearing a Motel 6 curtain. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong button. Sorry about that. I was gonna say red roof in. Um, Motel Six has good taste because it's just cute. <laughs> <laughs> like Motel Eight needs a dust. <laughs> but, but you yeah. feel like um, Ooh, I don't damn. Know what you feel like? I feel like a daddy over there. Well, you're sweating through it, so firstly you feel the, damp. Those are That's your hands. <laughs> you feel damp. That is your sweaty <laughs> hand palm. He's damp. <laughs> <laughs> Like a basement? <laughs> yes. No, like like when you wring out the water. Corey's over there looking like a crawl space. <laughs> shake it like a crawl space. Shake it like a crawl space. Why are you still touching me? Danielle, can you bring us some damp red down here, what please? What is that? Velvet? <laughs> Danielle, do you have a sham wow? <laughs> I'm going to need sham wow in here. What? Just Be- bring is, it out. Is this, is we need this... some mothballs in the office, please. I think Jason made this out of concrete. <laughs> 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 Why are you still touching me? <laughs> Were you in the? 12th? Does anybody else have an unpopular opinion? Um, no, all my opinions are very popular. <laughs> About the Lion King or the- uh, sorry. in general? The Lion uh, King just pissed me off. Sorry, well, Corey's meat sweats. Un- unpopular opinion. <laughs> um, I don't know. I I, I don't know because I don't listen to other people. So <laughs> Emily, Emily in the group, Emily in the chat said, uh, "You changed her mind." Thank you, Emily. We can Wait. Go- we what, go- Emily? Wait, what's Emily's e- last name? E- Emily. Emily. Vargas. Oh, okay. Emily, we can go out to dinner sometime. Stop. Oh my, my cousin. Oh, Stop with my family. We can, we have to go out to dinner tonight. You're, you're <laughs> you can't take a horse wedding. to the yeah to the carnival. Or what'd you say? Earlier? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take a horse to Golden Corral. <laughs> yeah, you can. I mean, <laughs> technically, you can. I had a couple exes I took there. <laughs> Oh, um, I don't. Oh, I miss that place. I don't know. I really don't know if I have un. Unpo- I mean, I know I have unpopular opinions, but I. I mean, I think Corey's hilarious. That's pretty unpopular. Uh, how mm. dare you? <laughs> I had a sold out show this weekend. I'm very- you weren't the only one there. That's why. Was it a bingo that's, hall? That's true. <laughs> Maybe. Our tickets were at the retirement home. <laughs> the tickets were free, Nick. <laughs> it was at Shady Pines. <laughs> well, they were the already course. there. <laughs> B six. I said Next you were. Weekend. I don't understand. I said you were funny. I, Why I know, are you mad? It, I'm not even mad at you. I'm mad at these these people. They don't. They don't show love. They don't. You're you're my only friend. Are you crying? You. Sweating? What is it's, happening? Kayla, you can't take a horse to water, but you can feed it grass. Are you? <laughs> Are you crying over Mufasa right now? You can ride off with the shamwow. I'm still a little yeah. upset. I, I do need over here some daddy issues. This, it's it's yeah. very humid in here. <laughs> oh, is no, it, it isn't. That's it's your breath. That's your breath. It's your non your, your non flossing like breath. <laughs> damp non flossing breath. <laughs> over there looking like an apostle. I have a. Wa- <laughs> what you- I'm trying. Me. Listen, I'm trying to. Wait, it has a same hood? shirt in the Last Supper. No. <laughs> that I'm, has a hood. I'm trying. To, oh wow! You look like a you look like a gnome. <laughs> I will betray you, Judas. <laughs> it even I, I'm trying to exfoliate my skin with, with it's a loofah. It is with your loofah loofa sweater. It doesn't even cover his whole head. <laughs> It's a loofah. Corey's gonna go home and cry now. <laughs> Looking like Jabba the Hutt. You guys should touch him too. You can, no. You, <laughs> you can lead Jabba the Hutt to water, but you can't make it bark up a tree. <laughs> there's, wow. There's, there, we've lost all control. <laughs> we have. We have. Oh. This is this is like the new. This is like the Seinfeld podcast oh. show about. Nothing. I won't be invited back because I threw everybody off. <laughs> <laughs> See you in two weeks. Oh, you Kaylin, need, I'm pretty sure it's all you need is a lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It Luke, started with Gina tried to deep throw the star <laughs> <laughs> Both of them at the same time, mind you. Because we were talking about LL and Shamar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me pick one. <laughs> you look like a Sith Lord. A Sith Lord? Is it Sith yeah, or uh, Scythe? Scythe? I thought it was Scythe Sith Lord. Lord. I don't know. I'm not a nerd. It's a Return of the Jedi type deal. Oh, those, oh, they call those Siths. Siths? Oh, I thought Sith. it was Scythe. Oh. Speaking of Sith, why mm. do uh, Lisp, why does the, the name Lisp have an S in it? 
It's root cause. <laughs> evil. Evil people. And, and Stutter I, I, has three T's. I want to know why <laughs> dyslexia people. is so damn hard right. to pronounce. And spell. Right. It's true. And it's spell. True. Like, yeah. yeah. It's like whoever came up with those names is a demon. Yeah. Mm. No, like they, they did that on purpose. They did that on purpose. For lit. sure. Someone said Corey looks like one of the seven dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he looks like a gnome right now. <laughs> dopey. I'm and not, that was Lisa. I'm not Definitely. sleepy happy, Lisa. Dopey, dopey or Doc. I'm just blacky. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm he's, allowed to make that. He's joke. stupid. That's <laughs> stupid. a little stupid. He's, he's just stupid. No, that's what he is. Nick, do you have an unpopular With opinion? With a T. I don't really know what that means. Okay, so honestly. something that like so so my unpo- Corey just went on a whole like you know. Uh, yeah, I'm all thrown off. I don't know what to say over here. I'm my crying. unpopular <sighs> opinion would be like Beyonce is overrated. Beyonce is overrated. Like first of all. Not to stir up any issues, but she ruined my Lion King movie. Mm, but she ruins every movie she's in. Just, yeah, she can't act. Have you ever she seen really Dreamgirls? She isn't that good yeah. at singing. But do you remember, do you remember anything, that Caitlin? third place huh? American Idol contestant beat her out in that movie? Or controversial First thoughts. of all, Jennifer Hudson is an amazing She is. And she also talent. came in third place in a... I, in American a, Idol's stupid. Stupid. That it is. I don't disagree, but she and, also, and plus, it's there's a curse on whoever comes in first place; they never make it, so it doesn't matter. True. Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood. You know, Did they come in first? Ruben Stuttered. Yeah, Ruben Stuttered. You know. <laughs> Where's oh, Ruben oh. now? Uh, he's uh, he's thinking of going to Where's Clay Aiken? Uh, he, he he didn't win. I know. I'm saying, where's Clay Aiken? He is aching because he's he's aching something. <laughs> Stop it. Chris, Chris Allen. Remember Chris Allen? He was good. Well, was Chris Daughtry, um, I thought. I to know. make you feel the Chris, my love. There's Chris Daughtry, too. I was convinced Chris, Chris Daughtry sang the theme song to the Toledo Walleye. He might have. There's a theme yeah. song? We have a, yeah. First of all, T-town who named hockey. that? Walleye. That, that was him? Was stupid I, anyway. was, I was convinced it was because it sounds like him. I don't and think. For who came up with hockey. our fish, our fight? That's what we let's, we do some dumb things in this Right. It's a little walleye, really? Yeah. That yeah. sounds yeah. scary. Look, walleye. Look, it used to be terrified. a Toledo Storm, why they totally changed it. Yeah, I thought Storm was great, and I don't understand why we did the whole rebranding, and I don't understand the our fish, our fight. Like, what are we... Okay. Like, what we're, What are we, a fish posse? No. Yeah, they... <laughs> And well, then I if they, I don't want to be. I don't think it's pronounced fish. that way. And At then if they make a goal, if they make a goal, they throw a fish on the ice. <laughs> like what is? Well, yeah. that, well, octopus. I, 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 yeah. So I've sang the national anthem for the walleye game, and it's and, that started with the uh, the uh, Red Wings, though. Yeah. Yeah, but but at the Which end, the makes dude, as much sense, right? Someone right. threw an octopus at you? No, like as I'm singing the national anthem, like right before I sing and the home of the brave, hit somebody. Yeah, they yell, hit somebody. And then there's like an octopus on on the ice all of a sudden. That like, reminds me. We went to Indiana for a game that walleye was playing. We went out of town to see their game. And when they did the national anthem, all the walleye fans yelled that. And everyone at the stadium was so mad. Yeah. <laughs> like my, my friend actually was saying she was there and she said people were so pissed. Oh, they were so <laughs> mad. Because they were like, how dare you disrespect our national anthem? Yeah, that's exactly, yeah. I, exactly well, how it So said the too. only problem that I have with that is that there is a very large amount of the hit somebody crowd that was like, oh, they're kneeling and disrespecting our anthem. Mm-hmm. And, and it was the same people. Mm-hmm. And that, yep. so I don't care either way. Like, I don't care what anybody's opinion is. I don't, I don't care. Like, See, any popular opinion. Yeah. But <laughs> you can't have it both ways. That right. was my thing. Like, pick, you can't yell, hit battle. somebody and then be pissed off at Colin Kaepernick. Like, you can't do that. Right. Like, no, no one calls him Kaepernick, Kaepernick, Kaepernick by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Kaepernick, Kaepernick. Oh, caper. Kaepernick. That's caper is a spice. Or yeah. is a oh yeah, no. Kaepernick. But Sorry. no, Caitlin, I, I can't really think of anything, honestly. I don't Okay. I, I can't. Hmm. I've been sitting here thinking for the last few minutes mm-hmm. and I don't I don't I just I don't happen know. to believe all of my opinions are valid and that's popular. probably how Nick feels too. Yeah. Because I really don't have too many opinions about like big things that I have opinions about big things. <laughs> 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 There's always one. Stop, Gina. <laughs> Corey, take the drinks away from her. She's going to get pink eye. <laughs> She's going to get pink eye. Or pregnant. Uh, one of the two on the show. <laughs> and then you can't have your surgery. You better put that bottle oh, down. Oh, man. The doves will get mad at me if I take them away. Stop oh. it. <laughs> He's like, no, she's practicing. <laughs> Whatever you guys drink before the show, make sure you drink that again next week. <laughs> I drink nothing but water. I don't know. I Corey I, needs to wear the I, wear the, I down, wear the loofah sweater next week. I down the loofah sweater. I uh, I deep throated two hot dogs uh, right before I got I here. I bet your skin's gonna be so soft when you take that off. <laughs> <laughs> Why <laughs> are you more? continually rubbing? No, it won't. Because Corey gonna, refuses to put on have, lotion. He's gonna have road rash. <laughs> <laughs> For me. Who was scratching <laughs> your back, Corey? His arms gonna be all sweater? raw and pink from me rubbing it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Does that hurt? I'm going to start chafing from you rubbing <laughs> me like this. Hot Gina is going to be like, who was all over your back? Uh-huh. I can promise you she will not even care or notice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, She's going to be like, oh, did something happen? <laughs> yeah. She's so invested. <laughs> yeah, Love it. Love the love you guys mm, have. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. What else you got for us, Caitlin? Anything else? Take that to her. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do I can take a the cap. game of... Uh, <laughs> a game? <laughs> would you rather? I know Yo, we don't have... Nice. I like that. Oh, yeah, yes, let's finish go. it off with this. So would on, you yes. rather with Kaylin all the way movies. from Toledo <laughs> <laughs> live in studio here? Um, I got to find a The exotic land of Toledo. So, Stop would it. you rather have yes. no yes. eyebrows... Um, or a unibrow. I lived through the '90s and I already didn't have eyebrows, <laughs> so yeah. I was good. I did the over plucking little eyebrows. I have the luxury of having perfect eyebrows. You do have very nice eyebrows. Thank you. You Thank do. You. Go, you know what? Go ahead. We're and really cute for just a little bit longer. All right. You're welcome. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> but I will say. I have also shaved my eyebrows off completely and been completely fine. So I will go with no eyebrows versus having. I'd rather have no eyebrows than a unibrow because I, I just the but unibrow. I can draw just, eyebrows. But, on. Yeah. And, but at the same time, like no hate to the unibrow because it's not. For I mean, me, I'm hating. But fuck it. I, so I, 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 I do know. It. I know plenty of people with the unibrows. So I need my eyebrows because sometimes I look at people. I want them to know, like. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't have the same effect when you don't have eyebrows. It doesn't. Like, you, know you just I mean? have the WTF uh-huh. lines. I like when not... the Mexicans, like, paint them on and they're just yeah. like this all day. Uh, yeah. Right. They look like, surprised. Like, like the, the, the are you cho- crying? Yeah. What are you doing? The, the Chola eye- eyebrows? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, thick. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So funny. So, would you rather only drink ketchup or only drink mustard? Who, who, why are those the only options? That, I, this is the game, Corey. It's how it works. I, I, no, I would you, die. Okay, because Just you had... you me, Listen, you got your death. horse. Now let her have her... Would you rather? <laughs> I'm going to go rather. with mustard. Uh, really? Yeah, because they say that uh, mustard, if you drink mustard, what does it take away? Yeah, ketchup is... Ketchup's very, very As- sugary, acidic. Sugary yeah. too. Yeah, acidic. It's very sugary. I'm going to go with mustard. But mustard's like very like sour, bittery. I mean, yeah. oh, it uh, takes so, away muscle cramps. So you're having cramps. Same you, mustard, you mustard. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I am also sour and bitter. <laughs> Why are you wearing mustard, Gina? <laughs> if mustard was a shirt, Gina's wearing it. <laughs> okay. Would you rather only eat spaghetti? No. Yum. Or only no. eat Alfredo pasta? Oh, Alfredo God. pasta. One hundred. Wait, when you say spaghetti, like you mean the noodles with the sauce yeah. and the meat, mm-hmm. or the Alfredo? Mm-hmm. I want Alfredo. I don't, I'll take Alfredo to the face, like a. Gina, what is? <laughs> I like Alfredo. That's what genuinely. is? What I don't know. I don't know. She is something's wrong with her. I mean, the, she knows it. Shocker. Dubs, when she gets home, you better, t- you better mm. sire her up. Shocker. Can't, you. you can't teach a horse a new trick, but I, you can ride I, it. I, I, meant, I, meant, I meant shocker. Yeah. Stop it. Who's the shocker? Oh, my gosh. I got to turn it back to one camera. You can cut her off for a little bit. To, oh, you, you just took us off. Uh, uh, bro. I can do me a quarry. Uh, oh, Gina's still in there. <laughs> Stop, Gina. Gina what is wrong with it. you? You're not allowed to miss three we weeks in three a row. We have three listeners. Uh, we have three listeners. They don't care. They, no, we have negative three. We have listeners. negative three listeners. They don't. No, care. the three is three yeah, minutes left. Like three, three listeners. Three, now. We have three <laughs> listeners. <laughs> three listeners left. All right, Kayla, would you rather? What, what was the last one? <laughs> I'm going with spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Uh, spaghetti or Alfred? So listen, here's my I'm, thing with spaghetti. Uh-huh. I would rather eat it the next day, microwaved. Rather than day of, fresh. yeah, because the noodles get absorb the, the grease sauce better. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I like doesn't seem as greasy. Some leftovers. I don't like noodles, so I, I don't like noodles either. And I, I, I mean, if you're gonna eat it the next day, I just really like staining that Tupperware container. You never, you have to yeah. throw it away. Exactly. I like you have no, to throw you it don't away. Actually, if you put it in the uh, container with some dish soap and a little bit of water and put or, a paper towel in it and shake it up really good. It cleans it. Or lemon and salt. I'll take it off. <laughs> you put or, asparagus or in a head of lettuce. So I actually, I was about to say, I prefer, I like to have uh, the Alfre- chicken Alfredo mm-hmm. with, with asparagus instead of noodles because I don't, uh, noodles are just too heavy. What? I mm-hmm. will that doesn't say, sound too bad, actually. No pasta. That's not I will bad. say that I do not like noodles either. So I at all. Will, not at all. Mm-hmm. Not at all. Okay. But I will. I will just die. So lasagna, spaghetti, none no. of it. Yeah, I don't no. eat that. I went to Carabas yesterday and got steak. No. You I went to where? But, but I went to Carabas yesterday and got steak. I'm not really big Carabas on pasta. Carabas is still open? 
Crocs. Yeah, I was in amazing. Detroit. <laughs> oh, and but, I'm not. I'm not really big on pasta either. So I did go to. A, I was at a winery this weekend. I had a show at a winery, yeah. and they make everything from scratch. Ooh. The pasta even looks so good that I almost got it. Ah, uh, you should have had it. As soon as I found it out, could have changed they, your mind like Scar. Well, here's <laughs> mm, no. no but as soon as I found out that they were paying for my meal, I just got a burger because I didn't want to like. Waste you know, it. Yeah. Be, be that guy. So okay. oh, I will be that person. <clears throat> I don't care. Well, the last thing that I have, yeah. it's not a would you rather, but this is a um, a life hack that I found. Nice. We like life hacks right here on the yes. show. So saran okay. wrap, everybody doesn't like dealing with, right? Because it gets stuck to everything. Mm-hmm. Put it in your freezer. Oh. oh, I have put my saran wrap in the freezer or plastic wrap, clean wrap, whatever you want to call it. It does not stick to itself. I've told a few people, oh, a lady at my I'm church. I'm going to try this. I, can't, I went over her house and I said, where's your saran shop? She said, in the freezer. Thank you. And it, it works that good? It is amazing. It I, takes away the static. Like being frozen takes okay. away the static. Because well, so as soon as you unravel it, it's sticking yeah, to something. Yeah, like, and you can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it takes forever to, to wrap it. And I and, Or you take leave, leave it on the roll and just. But here's the thing, though. Like, I don't up. saran wrap anything. What do you use Well, I don't because for? it's a pain in the ass. Well, because that's that's the thing. You would put foil over something or you put in a container. But like saran wrap, like for me, if I put something in the microwave and I just want to vent it. I might just put saran wrap so that way it can still steam it while it's I use in there. it for my Tupperware I can't find the lids for. Yeah, that too. Oh, yeah, I'm so confused. What do you put what do you use saran wrap for? To cover dishes, to, to cover wrap things. things. To, to like what? Like food. name something. You don't name have something. food. Like name Please. something. Have you or if you if you are a serial killer you, like Dexter, I'm with you, use Corey. it to wrap your victim so blood doesn't get everywhere. I don't even know if we own saran wrap. I have in tarps house. for that part. Tarp. But no, saran wrap like, works better. I, I'm, I'm dead serious. I can't think of anything that I've saran wrapped. Like we got baggies. Okay, so we got what about baggies. sandwiches? Like you don't, sort of you don't, don't, don't put those in a baggie. Like right. saran wrap for me is something that I will use like to cover something just briefly or like I'm taking a plate of cookies, okay? Yeah. I don't have a lid for that plate, so I might just put saran wrap oh, over it. Right. Yeah. I've never been successfully able to take cookies Yeah, anywhere. see, that's your problem that's right here. That's probably the problem. They don't make it. <laughs> He's like, no, I just put them on a plate, take them in the car, and eat them on the way. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing. Yeah. It brings nothing yeah. to the like, party. If, if, Cor- if <laughs> Corey's like, hey, cookies. I'm bringing cookies <laughs> to the cookout, he's not bringing cookies. Mm-hmm. He means he's going to bring them he's with the him and eat on the way. Yes. Honestly, like, I live so far away from any function Everybody knows that I'm just bringing napkins or Venmo and you cash because it's going to be stale and cold yeah. by the time I get there. Well, mm-hmm. just try putting the saran wrap in the freezer. I'm going to do that. Let I'm going to try that. It, let, let me know how it works out. Another thing to try is the Big Nick Energy Show live every single Monday from 6 to 8 o'clock. You can watch us live on YouTube and on Facebook. Corey? I just want to say before we go, remember, yeah. I have a show this upcoming Saturday in Damn it. Marincy. Michigan for all of our Rivers Edge campers, Corey's coming to see you. Yes, Marincy, Michigan, Rex this Theater. Saturday and I, October 11th. I am in Clyde, Ohio, at the Copperwell Winery. I am headlining the Copperwell Winery. Friday? It is a yes. It is a Friday. When is it? Uh, October 11th. I'll be at that. Oh. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, let me look. I, I, I believe that tickets are only five dollars. Uh, ah, gonna... I can't. Five dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not coming. <laughs> Can I it's get a, a guest pass? Uh, it's uh, you know what? It, I will uh, I will put you on the list. I'll give you okay. two dollars. <laughs> I know what you do for two dollars. Is it a two dollar bill? And I'm okay. Bill? Stop, uh, you know. Right. So, <laughs> but uh, Copperwell Winery. I'm headlining this uh, upcoming Saturday. I'm featuring with my good buddy Steve Iatt. Come out and check us out. It's going to be an amazing, amazing show both nights. Corey W. King. He's hot. Make sure you check him out. No, also, if you no, missed the literally, sh- he's so damn. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> and sweaty. Damn. If you missed the show, you can I- check us out on Spotify. Spotify. Uh. And- <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys are supposed to join in. I sang that. If you guys, it was going to be like choir work. Amazon Music, oh, Apple Podcasts, so much and iHeartRadio. My best. Spotify. There you That's go. What we need. We need Kaylin doing it every right. week. Hold on. Kaylin and me. Ready? One, two, three. Spotify. Oh, oh, out of here, guys. Corey, never oh, mind. See you next week. You couldn't even tell who was bad. Bye, y'all. <laughs> These are idiots. <laughs>